Deep down, I know I'm a fighter Deep down, I know my desires Everybody thinks that I'm just a liar They don't know what I got inside ya I'm the one to fight fire with fire I'm the type who never lets me get tired Mess with me and they never will find ya Yeah People tell me I won't get it They don't know me cause I'm cold winning Always in the ninth I close in it Always in my mind don't know quitting I'ma be the one that blows up in it You gon' be the one that shows up missing I'ma be the one that knows my mission You gon' be the one with no ambition I'ma make you take it, take it, take it all back You ain't never gonna get me, man, I'm too fast Call me the juice, that 40 yard dash Always look for it, no, never look back I just spit the truth, better listen to my facts Get me up in the booth and I put them on a vest When I spit the truth, they all listen to the facts Got nothing to lose, so I put them in the bed That's what I do, hard work always lasts And the pain's not an act, though it hurts real bad But you have to attack what you want to attract Or you're gonna look back and regret what you lack Uh, everybody knows that's a fact Yeah, I just want my words to impact Yeah, I just want my words to all last Yeah, not sorry if I put you on blast Uh, they know just what they see on the eye Outside. They don't know just what I'm like on the inside If you knew what I could do, you'd watch your backside If you knew what I could do, you'd stay in at night I'm the type of dude you don't wanna fuck with I'm the type of dude enough is enough, bitch I'm the type of dude who never gets complacent I'm the type of dude who knows he's gonna make it, I'll make it From my thoughts like a black hole Can't escape from these thoughts and these assholes Too many people feeling entitled Too many people staying idle Man, I work every day for the title And I'ma get it, that thought is final The way I think you can say is primal Kill it, be killed, I'm your and rival And I don't lose, no I'ma be the one they choose, though You can be the one they lose, ho Way too busy and snooze, bro I'ma be the one to rise up in it Never gonna fall, I fight till I get it Always staying tall, got pride, I'm grinning I don't really think I'll ever find my limit and I know that they all wanna hate me But they see me on the clouds so they wasty If I make it then they just might say B You been doing so good brother K. Lee I don't wanna hear your words, all the fake shit Now I want my day one is you been patient All the same people never been complacent We been working hard man we on the same shit I'm not just a sinner, I eat you for dinner I'm not a beginner, I'll paint you a picture I got a guitar and they play that shit everyday No I was not that great, figured out how to play Learned how to change to be learned how to rap And sing passion is everything Loved it throughout my team 10,000 hours So I could be fucking king Hand me the crown, I just get out my fucking ring They know just what they see on the outside they don't know just what I'm like on the inside If you knew what I could do, you'd watch your backside If you knew what I could do, you'd stay in at night I'm the type of dude you don't wanna fuck with I'm the type of dude enough is enough, bitch I'm the type of dude who never gets complacent I'm the type of dude who knows he's gonna make it, I'll make it Hey guys, we're back. We're back in a matter of minutes. But hey, I just want to say thank you all for all the support in the last stream. I had around 800 views. AM had around 800. Halftime had around 200. So we really appreciate your support on the last stream. That's How over 1,800 think? viewers. You guys are awesome. Dude. That was great. Awesome. That was great. Excellent. Yeah, guys, thanks a lot for all the views. Mm -hmm. Thanks for everybody coming in. It was awesome. Yeah. Hopefully Randy's going to pop in because I put his chat on this. Dude, it's 820. It's time to party. Who do you guys have for this game winning? I got Ohio State winning. Ooh. 40. I want to say 43 to 
30, 36. High scoring game. Yeah. What about you, coach? Hmm. I want to say Old State is going to win about 42 to 37. I want to, but something is telling me after seeing Michigan go down, Georgia is going to win this game, and they're going to win it probably by about 15 points. All right. All right. I'm afraid. I'm really afraid of that. And for me, uh, I want Alabama. I want Georgia to win. I want Georgia to win. So I got Georgia winning 30 to 21. You know, uh, AM, I had to put 21 in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh. Jeff, for putting all our links in the chat, too. Yeah, Thank really. Thank you, you, Jeff. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. Now, my poll for four votes, it's a tie. Ohio State and Georgia are a tie for a uh, two to two. The true high spread Max Duggan. I thought they already did the voting. <laughs> he got second for the Heisman Trophy. I want to see something. It's going to be that Caleb Williams. What about Caleb Williams? It says that he won the Heisman Trophy for this yeah, year. He did. Yeah, yeah. He did. and then second comes the Duggan guy who uh, just won for TCU. Mm-hmm. All right. So it is interesting. Do you think – that's my question. Do you think they should hold off the voting until January – Nope. Now that they have playoffs. Nope. nope. Okay. So this should only stick still historically with the regular season only. Yeah, it's, it's only the regular season. What happens right. if you have somebody who's so amazing, even though their team didn't, you know, make it to the national championship or anything, i.e. Williams? I mean, he did, you know, he did have a good season. I mean, there's always some guys out there who, you know, played fairly well, but, you know, their team was just not championship level. That's true. That's absolutely hey, um, a good point. I just want to say thank you for the support on the Hardcore Sports Network. We got around 300 views on that stream. Wow. Oh, really? that's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's awesome. Hardcore yeah. Sports. That's and then bad. I got to look at uh, Randy. Randy got 200. Nice. So we all we all did great. Thank you all for the support. It was really one of the best streams in the books. Anyway, that's why I'm doing this game. I'm gonna have the Sixers on over here, so I will. <laughs> I, so I will have it on. So Mitch will be doing some whining about. <laughs> Man, yeah. if, but I understand, man, if I was, you know, if I was a fan of Michigan, too, I'd be – he's taking it very, very well, I think. Mitch, you're doing well because I'd be pissed Well, right. you didn't see me off-stream. you were so close. You didn't see me off-stream. Oh, that's true. You Is that why you kept disappearing? No, no. <laughs> you had to go in the corner and yell. Yeah, like, shut. <laughs> All right, now I'm back. I was throwing remotes. I was doing everything. Yeah, but sure. that's what that's what you should be doing, Mitch, on the live. Show people your frustration. Yeah, I know you don't go hide it. Don't go, I don't go hide it. it. Well, don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna make a video videos. tomorrow. I'm gonna hide I'm gonna it. make a video tomorrow. It's okay. Mitch, we don't we're just messing with you. I know, I know, but I'm gonna make a video yeah. tomorrow. No, but the live the live <laughs> I'm pissed off and want to throw things and right. Yeah, would be better. Wow. All right, here we go. Shout out Mom to the and Dad you. Don't do the goddamn remote, kid. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. You mean like Dude, this? I saw a video on <laughs> Dallas Cowboy fan yeah, like a year or two ago. He, like he, all his friends were over there, and they were standing around the TV, and he was like right front and center, and he just punched his friend TV out. <laughs> he got kicked out of the house. It was hilarious. <sighs> 
<laughs> Yo, so combined throughout all the channels, we got around 2,000 views. All right, we're here. Here, we're set. The clock is ticking. We're at 1440. So, Ohio, I'm a TCU fan until Duggan leaves. Ohio State is going to start the Wait, ball. Wait, is Max Duggan, he's getting drafted this year, right? Or is it next year? Mm, I don't know. Well, that's up to him. That's all up to the players. They want to risk senior, another uh, year. Yeah, let me see if he's a senior or not. Um, Max Dugan. He is a senior, yeah. So he is drafted this year. Yo, the Knicks are winning. Coach, the Knicks are winning. He's 6'2", 210. He needs 10 more pounds on him. But yeah, he'll he'll do. He'll make it. Man, he's gonna find me so much of him. Wait, Sixers are up by seventeen to gain. He needs to gain a little bit more weight. That's Man, the thing about NFL, though. They'll they'll gain you the weight. Oh yeah. Um, getting you gained weight. Which our coup at? Our coup. Sixers are beating you by seventeen. Watch the Sixers blow it. All right, it's third and seven, and that Georgia defense is already stopping Ohio State. This is a big key play here. We're on the 39-yard no, line of the Ohio State. Side. 13 minutes and 36 wow. minutes, third and seven. Snap All back right. in. Oh, a blitz right up the middle and a sack and a loss. Coach called that before it even happened. <laughs> Coaches ahead. Coaches no, ahead. it's not that. It's not that. It's I'm reading it. I can read what they're doing. Like it's oh. so easy. It's like I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, you're 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 you're, you're dropping um, the end and you're bringing that linebacker right up there. Now is he coming up to the B gap or is he coming through the A gap? Doesn't matter if you zone block it, you pick it up. I'm like, okay. Yeah. He ran right again. through hugest hole ever by the offensive line These of Ohio are 19 State. and 20 year old kids. I have to remember that. I'm an old fuddy duddy. So you've what you because you've been around because you've seen a thing or two because you've been around a thing or two. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. All right. So my hope is Qu Quentin Johnson somehow makes it to the Giants. Nah, it's not happening. Yeah, I know. It's not happening, my bro. He's not. He's not gonna make it there. Okay, so. Wow, well, I didn't know that. Here. What? Marvin Harrison's son plays for Ohio State. Yeah. 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 Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, kid is a beast. Um, if he was coming, if he were able to come out in this year. Hands down, he's the number one overall draft pick for to me. Who? Oh, really? Marvin Who? Harrison Jr. Yep. Oh. Marvin Harrison. If he was coming out, if he was eligible to come out this year, for me, he's the number one overall draft pick. Hands down. Now he has to wait two years, right, before he comes out. After next year. Next he's year. born in Philadelphia, six four. Is this guy going to be a future Heisman Trophy candidate? Oh. Depends on the quarterback. Marvin Harris Jr. Oh, yeah. He was, he was born. Yeah. I mean, he this was, guy has got the Marvin height. Harrison He's got the Philly. advantage. He's on Ohio State. He has all the talent in the world. He's up mm -hmm. there for talk. The son of no. pro football Hall of Fame wide receiver Marvin Harris. I mean, how could you ask for anything better? <laughs> His father coached him up. Exactly. Whoops. It's going to be a long day for him. Their defense can't handle that offense. How tall yeah. is Devontae Smith? Is he 6'4"? Six, 6'1". Six, oh, he's only 6'1". Six, six, no, it says 6' foot here. I guess 6'1". All right. So, yeah. yeah, same six, thing. Four, wow. Four, so he's got four inches on him. Damn. Yeah. And also wait, because um, Devontae was what? Like Devontae's skinny as hell, yeah. Yeah. I, that's right. Terrell Owens isn't even 6'4". He's 6'3". Yeah. Mm -hmm. Theo's not going to make it But Theo's not even 6'3". He's 6'2". They're just giving mm -hmm. him the benefit. They they lie about their height, too. Mm -hmm. 
Megatron 6'5. What's Julio Jones? 6'4. Six, 6'4. Four. Six, four. I think 6'4 six, or 6'5 six, is about the same. 6'3 is Julio Jones. You know, someone on Twitter said Jim Harbaugh has replaced Chris Weber as the all time worst Michigan timeout call. Oh, damn. I'm like, wow. no. That was really bad. They didn't have any timeouts left. So Marvin Harrison actually uh, won, uh, was catching bricks with, like, with Jerry Rice because that's how Jerry Rice would practice how to ca- catch. He would catch bricks. They would throw them up, and he would catch them with his hands. And that's how crazy that Marvin Harrison started doing the same thing Jerry Rice was doing. <laughs> Mitch, you put VCU instead of TCU <laughs> on Twitter. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you put VCU because I live next to VCU. I was like, wait, VCU? <laughs> We're not talking about basketball, are we? Shit. I did that before, oh. too. I Just did copy that and paste too. it, repost it, and put TCU. Oh, I should delete it. Shout out to the 16 in the chat already. Appreciate yeah, what's it. up? How y'all How doing? You? Are y'all having a happy new year? Let us know. I don't know. I need it. I oh, really it's a need a field goal kick. And no it's good. way, way to the left. No good. Let me see this, Jack. Georgia missed field goal kick with 10 minutes and 31 seconds left in the first <clears> quarter. <throat> Damn, baby, she got bought. Man, he should have made that field goal kick. I don't know. Wow. That might bite him at the end. Hey, listen. It looked like uh, what you call it was going right down the field, too, and they stopped him. So. Ohio, Ohio State stopped Georgia. So Georgia looked like he was going right down the field as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. Mitch comment on it. I did. I did on last stream. I'm going to make a video tomorrow. No, you got to do it now. Why, the wound is still fresh. <laughs> like, buck off half time. <laughs> So I'm the only one that got Ohio State going to win this, huh? Yeah. Damn. Well, not in my poll. Not on your poll? Not on my uh, YouTube. Well, I did a Twitter poll on that. Yeah, Georgia, 67% out of nine votes. (laughs) Is that what I got? No, that's what I got on mine on the YouTube on the chat. I did a poll of that too. You're right. Gonna highlight RT3 running all off the field with his wife running to the lane. Wait! Wow. RT3's wife is having a kid right now. Oh, wow. Well. Congratulations. So there's, uh, out of 12 people, 
They're saying Georgia with 83%. On mine or yours? On mine. Okay. And it's, but there's only 12 views. Votes. I don't like the views on Twitter. I just feel like that's pointless. I'm like, okay, now you get to see how many people show you tweet and ignored it. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right. I am back. Cool. And shout out to the eight people in the chat. I hope y'all are having a happy new year. All right. Oh, God. All right. Look at this. Ohio State runs up the middle. Go back to the 29-yard line. Nine minutes left. Second down. Come on, get rid of it. What a catch. Oh, my Lord. That's I'm about to see it. That's an outstanding catch right there. I'm about to see it. That man is a bad And yo, know, it's Marvin Harrison Jr. Wow. He knows how to leverage it. And look what he did. He ver turned it and wow. Initially went vertical, went left, then turned it back to the right. It was a perfect throw, perfect catch. <laughs> I like to have the quarterback directed him. How, how to go while he was on the run. How was it going? Yeah, Mitch, comment on the loss with the TCU game. I already did. It's on Twitter. Okay. I'm making a video tomorrow. Or I might do it in halftime and just, like, throw it on there. All righty. A lot of commercials. Yeah. Let me look at the score. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Just talk up. Okay. Sixers are up by 18 against the Thunder. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, actually. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That just sucked. You know what sucks? Ohio State is winning in the league right now. They're a good team. I know. 
But I thought Georgia would stop them. Like, right from the gate. Listen, it just just started. What do you think it's going to be? 21 and nothing already? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Ohio State belongs there. They got a good running game. Speedy Eagle, I officially made you a moderator. Oh, there you go. There you go. I never go live, so it's like I have to slowly make people moderators that just come in my chat and comment, and then I make them a mod. <laughs> Who's Ohio State's running back? It is. All right, Ohio State kicks off the ball. It's going to be in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, we're going to do Man, that was back when run game was dominant in college football. That's some old school highlights. Nice. Wow. Citrus Bowl. I was a good run stop right there. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Somebody has the game on. Somebody has the game on the on the what over the air. Huh? We have the game over the air. Yeah, it's probably me. Man, this no, is Chick-fil-A. I was at two. It was not me. I was at two. I could go with some Chick fil A right now. I'm full. Shit, I haven't eaten all day. I just had some barbecue chicken. Uh, no, uh, jerk chicken. Sorry. Ooh, now you talking, brother. Now you talking. Yeah. Hey, char- uh, jerk chicken. Rasta. Rasta, yes. Dude, ever since I went to Jamaica. Me and my wife just love some jerk chicken. I was like, whoa. Man, well, see, I grew up on it because my mother's from the island. So, you know, and then you get the. That's <laughs> tough, man. Like, stop talking food. Mm. Now, nah, you don't understand. And you get that nice spicy. Mm. No, you got to get that spice. Oh, my God. Yes. That's really nice. I, actually, I actually make three types I make it original, I make it mild, and well, it's not yeah. mild, but it's, 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 it's sweet and it's sweet and spicy. And then it's slap your mama. There we I go. I will slap oh. your mama. I like, I like the mild. Don't slap your mama. What, what an amazing that? pet! Listen, listen, listen. I'm a little Ooh. girl, coach. No, you're not. When, no, you're not. Girl, when it comes to spice, I'm gonna be, no, no, no. I'm gonna be honest with you. I keep it real. I'm a little girl on that. I'm gonna tell you now. I can't deal with spice. I'll be sitting on the toilet all day. Look, bro, my, <laughs> my granddaughter, my granddaughter's been eating, <laughs> eating spicy since she was what one, two years old. Okay. We grow up, we grow up in it. So, my yeah. ultimate goal is to get the ghost ghost pepper and just sit down and eat it straight. Just mm. so, if you can't handle it, I understand. Everybody looks at me like, how can you not handle it? I'm like, my wife and all, she she'll make something a little spicy. Mm-hmm. And I'm done. She'd be like, how can you not handle this? What is going on? It's only not even real spicy. It's just a little spice. Hey, I understand. Oh, how you miss Some people that? can't tolerate spice. That's just... Nah, I... please, if I took you into my cabinet right now, all the hot sauces that I have... Oh, wow, there. Richie, wow. Go TCU. Go Georgia. Yeah, we Ghost King. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm going Georgia too. Go Georgia. Look at Georgia go. 
I have a horrible connection. Uh. Yeah, we had you. We used to have a jerk chicken around uh, um, Jamaican place right by us, and then they closed down. I'm like, what the hell? Damn! I'm supposed to get my jerk chicken now. Make it yourself. Not the same. It's not the same. They got them spices. I I hear pop up outside. I don't know if it's fireworks or gunshots. It's probably fireworks. Works. It yeah. Is, uh, doing. Could be gunshots too. What a sack! Have y'all seen uh, New Year's? Uh, Pace defense has come to play. What was that? LA, man, they'd be shooting fireworks. It's crazy. So wait, are Thursday, is Thursday night football done? Oh my God, Georgia went right down the field and scored. You yeah. <laughs> yeah. They left him wide open. Nobody even tried to tackle him. Hey, Cool Cat. What's up, Cool Cat? Damn, What's up, Cool Cat? It hurts. That's down Georgia. I'm about to see it right now. That's down Georgia. Woo! I'm becoming yeah, yeah. Georgia fan, Vinny. Boom. Boom. All right, Thursday Night Football is done. Thank you. <laughs> Thursday Night Football games were bad this year. Yes, everyone. Not the Eagles one. Dude, I didn't have a problem with Thursday night football games this year. I had a problem with Monday night football. Monday night football were, de were decent. They were awful, Mitch. They were terrible. That was the worst year of Monday night football I've ever seen. Thursday night football with Amazon Prime ended up being all right. Except the only thing sucked was trying to leave Amazon Prime and then trying to watch regular yeah. program TV. And then you had to switch back and it would load forever. So... Remember when the Eagles were on Thursday Night Football against, and then the Phillies were on at the same time? Yes. Yes. I had to put two TVs on. I had to have one TV for the Eagles, one TV for the Phillies. I was doing the same thing. <laughs> that sucked, though. It, I had the computer going for the Phillies. No, I had the TV going for the Phillies, and I had the PC for the Sixers game. You mean for the Eagles? No, it was the Sixers. No, the Eagles and the Phillies were on the same side no, of the day. The Eagles and the Phillies. Because uh, the uh, Phillies were in the World Series. I thought the Phillies were playing too, though. Sixers? No. No. The Sixers? No? Okay. Oh, here we go. Love that Eagles cup, my man. Thank you. <laughs> Half time's like, thank you. I got, I got two of them. Oh, nice, sick. There you go. <laughs> don't get it. Don't get a green screen now. Because when you hold them up, you won't see them. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. What the hell is going on?
Yeah. So Georgia just went straight down the field and scored an answer yeah. right So it's seven seven. Georgia's really that good, right? We'll see. We got a long yeah. game together. Yeah. Yo, Andy, Andy. the building got 1.2k views on that ball game. On the what? Wow. On uh, Michigan and uh, TCU. Nice. Well, she does it with um, Coach Dante, right? Yeah, I'm checking his now. I don't think he did it. Damn, mine went up to 967, Mitch. Yeah, his did, he did not do it. He didn't do it? I don't think Coach Dante did it. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, I'm around like 820, 830. No, it might have been even more. Yeah. Oh. Your video is not. Your video is not up for some reason. Mine? Yeah, you're live. That we oh, just you got, because you weren't watching it. It's gonna take a little bit. Oh. Here it is. Oh, Coach, uh, Jeff is watching your stream right now. Your video. Coach sucks. There's going to be so many commercials this game. Yeah. <clears throat> hot wings right now.
I like Ohio State is always running the ball and keeping them, keeping Georgia, even though they're not getting that many yards on the run, they're still keeping them. You know, we're, we're still going to pound the ball up the middle. I like that. Agree with that one. So many commercials. Yeah, I hate commercials. You could have thrown that five minutes ago. Right. Ohio State on the 34-yard line. Rush up the middle for a gain of two. I stayed on the 38 yard line. The Sixers are up by 31. Nice. Wow. Who's See, the leading coach, score? I'm looking at it right now. Give me a sec. Your coach don't suck that bad. He still sucks. <laughs> 58 to 27 yeah I mean he's a regular season coach that's for sure but when it comes to the postseason it won't get it done Tobias Harris has the most points he's doing perfect for the line he's a awful game manager when it comes down to big games thank you Oh, thanks, Jeff. <clears throat> yeah, Jeff, thanks, man. I'm just so all over the place right now. All right, third and one. Oh, you're at third and one? You're way behind. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am? Yeah. Oh, the sheep. Yeah, I'm just getting into the commercial now. I'll be right back. So what do you guys think of the game right now? Pretty even. This game is easy. What was that? Yeah. 
Okay, what's your ESPN? What's on ESPN, Jeff? Y'all are at commercial? Yeah. All right, I think I finally caught up. Oh, they'll fight for it, won't they? Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Make sure you come over to the YouTube and subscribe over there. Thank you, Who man. Get out. Someone who's got a creaky door sounds like I'm in a haunted house. Oh, no, it's my chair. Cause it's my chair. It's me. Anybody know what the point spread for this game is? Oh, it's the Bulldogs by five. Yep. Yeah. All right, Speedy. Uh, Speedy. Have a good one, man. Happy New Year. See you, Speedy Eagle. My chair is squeaky too. <laughs> Oh, they fumbled it, but it went out of bounds. Mama, there goes that man. Stay saying if we came to play, y'all. Don't sleep on us. Go on, and run. That's not a bad Let's run. Sleep. No, I'm actually behind them. Not a bad yeah, run. I'm behind. I think you guys are way ahead. Still. That was a stupid call. That was a stupid play call. Right. You already knew he, that play was going to fail. Have fun, see? What you got, brownies? Yep. Mm. Acne? <laughs> Acne, right? See? I got mine from a place called Whole Foods. Whole Foods? Yeah. It's like a healthy, new, organic kind of uh, market or uh, food uh, like grocery. Mitch, you see me? Do I look like I eat anything healthy? 
I'm just saying that's where we. Hey, I don't need anything healthy. I know what Whole Foods is. Look at the opposite. <laughs> I'm the opposite. <sighs> oh my god, bro! You do so. You do so. Eat healthy. They're the ones that eat bad. Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I've been eating healthy all my life. I just got. I, I, I'm a meteor. Exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. the good food to eat. I'm not a rabbit. What? You're not a rabbit. I'm Constantly a rabbit. eating just rabbit food like lettuce no, all the time. Dude. Uh-huh. Can you catch that? Who do you guys think will be the first pick in the draft? It's hard to say because it depends on who's the, who's the team. Yes, no, gonna call, are they going to call that a touchdown? Why? He didn't catch it. Oh, sorry. My my screen's too blurry. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even catch it. Y'all are ahead of me. I would be the match one. Yeah, I'd be mad at the match win, too. You just want meat? You just want meat? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. The Knicks are going to win. Are you fucking kidding me? The Knicks. They're up by what fifteen now. Okay. Yeah, we beat Houston. Whoop de do. What you won? No, they're winning right now by fifteen points. Mm. Let me see. What's our schedule next? You're right. Meat and potatoes. I like meat and potatoes. Exactly. Certain meats. I'll be right back, guys. I just want me a nice, good beer burger right now. That's all I want. No, that's good. That's good stuff right there. Mm hmm. So we got the Suns on Monday. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. This is going to be an interesting one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, give me a nice, nice beer burger. Let it marinate in some good beer and and put it on the grill. Nice, a little bit of seasoning, just the right amount. Just give me some ketchup, maybe some red onions with that. That's good. That's all I need right there. Now, do you like fried onions or are you just running? Both. Uh Both. I'm a, I'm a fried, I'm a fried onion guy. You can put fried onions on my steak yeah. and I'm cool. Yeah. I mean, fried onions, mushrooms together for me is so, but yeah, I mean, I can do fried onions. I can do red onions raw. The yellow onions, no, nah, I'm good. Those got to be fried up for me. But yeah, get it in there. Mm. I just can't eat mushrooms. Can't do that. Oh yeah, I I can do mushrooms all day long, man. I yeah, know. I said beer, B as in boy. Yeah. No. <laughs> magical mushrooms. He said magical mushrooms. Magical. No, it don't matter to me. Mushrooms are good for me, especially sautéed. I'll even do that with some liver. Give me some good liver. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now we got a cooking show going on. <laughs> oh, believe me, I look. I'm a big, fat, sexy guy. It takes a lot of hard work to be big, fat, and sexy like me. So, <laughs> yeah, I cook my ass off, and I love it. I don't care about no damn Kevin Durant. He ain't the goat. 
Kevin Durant is. Let me shut up. Jeff is on the stream. What a touchdown! He got in. That was a nice one. I'm about to see it. Yeah, he's in. I just thought he was dead. His knee was down first. Yeah, no, he's he's in. It's not Michigan halftime. Huh? Nick said he scored. We're known to get our knees down before the line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Michigan. Michigan likes likes getting down on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I can't say anything to that. But now I, that's the time you're supposed to say it. <laughs> oh. Exactly. When you don't say it, you're, you're like pause, 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 and I'm like, no. I know. No, he said something like. Michigan head coach takes full responsibility for dialing out the Philly special. I wish I had called a uh, what? I wish I had called a what? I wish I had called a different play. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go, Mitch. Harbaugh is taking responsibility. Yay. What about that call to get the touchdown, but you hand off and it goes nowhere? Hmm. Now look, if you're gonna knock him, but also want him on your team, <laughs> not make sense. Don't yes, knock him. No, I can't criticize the coach that I'm one you know, He's gonna be gone now, and you're gonna have to deal with it. I've never been to a fair. I've been to carnivals, but never a fair. I've been to a fair. I have um, M and M. So, yeah, they're all carnivals that I've always been to. The ones that come to you, yeah, I've never been to a fair. There, we used to have a place called the Garden State Racetrack. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, they, mm-hmm. they used to have a fair uh, once a See, year. Okay, then, then, then I, then I've been to a fair because I always call that a carnival. Okay, they they call it a fa- they they call that a fair. Okay, okay, so then I've been to fair, so. Yeah. Favorite food. Oh, you've been to the Garden State Racetrack that when they had that mm-hmm. big thing? It's a mm-hmm. they call it a fair. Where I they had you. um bunch of you know how might have country singers or somebody mm-hmm. singing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it just growing it was just we like, oh we're going to the carnival, so it's just yeah. it's the worrying, so yeah, it's same thing. Favorite what food. an interception. The only thing I'm gonna say is funnel cake. That's all I can say. Oh man, <laughs> you hit the fat boy right in the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, there's an interception. They had yeah. funnel cake. They had fried Oreos. Yeah, exactly. Or yes. So yeah, but you get funnel cake not just with the powder. You get it with the mixed fruits and oh yes. my gosh. But yeah. Okay, O State is balling today. They're balling. Somebody's hurt on Georgia. Stroud is trying to let y'all know he might be the number one draft pick, overall draft pick. Oh, what a throw. Nice pitch and catch right there. I think a fair has less rise than a carnival. I could be wrong, though. Okay. I mean, I, like I said, I've always been told carnival, but I get where he's going. I've been to the Garden State. Right? Yeah, I've been there. I don't think there's anywhere in Jersey I haven't been. Any well, that's why I said Garden State Racetrack. You are as, you're, all, you're a little bit older than me. <clears throat> I think I'm much older than you. No. You ain't cool. You ain't in nowhere near your fifties. I'm almost there. <laughs> Seriously, wow! All right, I'm almost there. Okay. So, I'm Fair almost time. there. Hey, I, I try to look young. <laughs> <laughs> Candy apple, yep. Sorry, I don't do the pork. Oh. That's the only thing. I don't do pork, but everything else. You don't do pork. Nah, I, I stopped eating pork back in '93. Oh damn! But I, you haven't been to your house. It's in Jersey. Another touchdown! Wow! 
Oh, stay. Oh, this. Look at that. They're, they're, they're on fire. Mitch, is, yeah, Mitch, this is not going to be a good day for you today. Hey. <laughs> it's not going to be. Marvin Harris Jr., another touchdown. Mama, there goes that man. It's been, it's been, I've been to a fair a long time ago, long time ago. I've been to Poconos. I don't remember many rides from me. Please, oh, gosh. I'm just taking my granddaughter to the fair, though, or carnival, whatever you want to call it, fair, carnival. You got, you got all sorts of names for it. Yeah. When you say carnival, I know what you're talking about. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm. I'm just saying these cats. So it's it's all so like I said to me. It's all the same thing, right? And it, and you're right. You're 100 percent right. It's all the same thing, just a different word. Yeah. Now, if you want to say carnival fair amusement park, that's different. Yeah, right. we I know the difference. Park, that's way different. Than different. A carnival exactly. or a, a fair. fair. Now I do want to go to the one the fair carnival in Minnesota. I've heard about that one, and I've heard of all the food out there is magnificent. That I do want to go to before I pass on. Mm, just, just, just to fill up my beautiful gut. Mm. I'm talking about. Look, I, I do want. I do want to go to. Is it a traveling? I'll go and I want to. I want to try their. Hmm. Okay, you know, like their pizza was good. I want to try their pizza. Who's pizza? Chicago. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I know the, the, the deep dish. And they say the deep dish is awesome. I'm like, but I say nobody can make a pizza like South Jersey, but what do I know? I've had <laughs> South Jersey. I've had North Jersey. I've had Central Jersey. North Jersey tastes like goddamn cardboard. <laughs> no, no, it depends on where you go in North Jersey. Seriously. Because mm, I've had some that mm, you get that and it, you you take it, you fold it. It has the nice little dripping. Oh, I just got bad woods. I might have just got bad woods. Because I'm yeah. like, you can't even bend this thing in. It's yeah, exactly. You got to fold it. Sometimes you got to take the tip and fold that in too. Because oh, it's yeah, you got to take the tip and fold it. Oh, fold man. it exactly. That's good eating. I want to go to the Wiener Circle in Chicago and get cursed out. Said two yeah, said, no, you could. You make an upside down pizza, lady. <laughs> <laughs> upside she's down. From, pizza. She's from. She's from Philly, so she likes to. Uh, the, isn't, yeah, that's the one where you put the what the tomato sauce and dough and the cheese or something like the, that. They, they put the cheese, the pepperoni, then the sauce on top. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. People yeah. call it what they call it a sauce pie. <laughs> exactly. Next okay, next. You're gonna win this game. I'll give it to you. Damn quickly is playing his his hind parts off. But twenty one seven. Old state, you gotta put you gotta put a you gotta put a fork in them early, man. You gotta put that fork in them. I know this Ohio State's playing really good, some real good football. Exactly. Georgia's playing all right. They just gotta come up with they gotta answer with the scoring that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. A dollar slice in the Bronx bigger than your. F see now you talking random. Now you talking. See, see, see. That's 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 that New York man. That's that New York. And you go oh, and you really get the big, the big. Oh yes, they're like this big. Uh, but I know they were a dollar. I mean, it must I have been a dollar. <laughs> yeah, that must have been. Now it's probably like three, four dollars, maybe even five in some places. But it's still worth it. If you go to Wildwood on the boardwalk, they yeah. have the big ass slices. Mm -hmm. I ain't no dollar though. <laughs> no, 
And then some some of the pizzerias, you got to, there's different sauces, the Neapolitan yeah. versus the traditional, which is a little bit more spicier because the Neapolitan is a little bit sweet, sweeter. Oh, oh yeah. Boy, believe him. Look, I used to work in a pizzeria I used, and I used to make the fresh dough. I had to get in there early to make that dough. Mm. I do that. I do that in my own house to make that dough. Mm-hmm. I'll make it from scratch. Exactly. Me and my There's wife nothing... are like, we want pizza. Mm-hmm. Make it from scratch. Man, it's nothing like it. Get the dough, the yeast, boom. Yep. Get you, boom, there you go. Mix it. Let knead it, let it, it. up. Oh, man. Yep, proof it. Let it sit. Yep. And mm-hmm. I like the panzerotti. We make panzerotti too. I've never heard of Panzerati. Uh, pizza Twist. Oh, I've never done those. The, that I have not yet. You, want, you know, you fold it inside. There's cheese, just cheese inside or sauce. Kind of like, yeah, kind of like the garlic twist now. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I got you. Yo, Mitch, you all right, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just DMing people. No, he's not all right. Both teams that he wanted to win are getting spanked. Yeah, spanked. Spanked is not the word. It's not the word. <laughs> yeah. George is call- George is shooting themselves in the foot with all the penalties. Right. Now, I don't know who to root for on January 9th. <laughs> well, of course, being that you're a Michigan man, you're not going to root for your arch rival. Period. Case closed. That's right. Real. Yes, I know that. that. I mean, I know that. I know that. So, but, but it's like on um, Big Ten ball, Big Ten, home of the champions. But Who it's like this? TCU what? or whoever wins this. Like, if Georgia wins, I'm rooting for Georgia, obviously. But if it's TCU against Ohio State, I got to root for a TCU. Yeah, I know that. I kind of figured that. You're a Michigan man. That was a big, big play by George. Yeah. That was, that, nice. that was nice. That's a beautiful pass by Bennett. Yes, it was. That was a beautiful catch. Exactly. Him paying attention, knowing he had to get over a little bit. What a catch. Here they come, Mitch. They're coming. <laughs> I'm not calling him out yet. Uh, Here it is. I don't know, Nick Sirianni. I don't know about the Here it is. fantasy football. I suck at fantasy football. There it is. Yep. I don't do. I'm I mean, I, fantasy. I, fantasy football is no, no. It's, it's. Let me shut up. Y'all have it. Y'all do y'all thing. I can't do. Yeah, I can't do fantasy. I do fantasy football, but I just got my ass handed to me this year. No, nah, it just. I, I do just, uh, fantasy basketball. That's where I sign. I can't do any of it. How am I going to root for other guys on the other teams, even if they possibly going up against my own team? I just, I just can't. Touchdown, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. I just can't. I just, mm. yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, it, I, I thought the same way you did, Coach. I'm like, how am I going to – I am not – I can't. How can I root for a different guy on a team? And if they're playing against the Eagles or somebody, I'm like, how am I supposed to root on this guy? Mm-hmm. I want. How am I supposed to root on that team? But I'm like, I can't do it. I can't. And I just started, <laughs> and I just started yeah. doing it. I'm like, no, I can't. but it's hard. I'm like, Jesus, crying out loud. Nope, I just won't do it. I just, I just. Can't. Oh my God, was he down at the one? It looked like he was down at the one, by the way. Nope, they called a touchdown. It looked like he was down. No, nah, he was in. He was in. The ball, the tip of the ball was over the goal before his elbow hit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tip of the and ball. Michigan, Michigan has to go on their knees before they go any further. Got it. Hmm. Yeah, Michigan has to get on the knees to, to get the balls in. <laughs> That's a pause. <laughs> Good job, Mitch. Yay! 
get it right. <laughs> Touch me. Touch me. <laughs> I would just set this one up with you. <laughs> Basically. Oh, uh, it's, uh, hey, what is it? You know what makes me feel I better? Go back to college. I want to go back to college. Uh, you know what make me feel better? If the Brooklyn Nets lose to uh, the Hornets. No, I think they. I thought they won. Did they? Oh yeah, they won. I thought the game was still going on. My bad. Brooklyn sucks. Brooklyn. <laughs> it's sixty-nine sucks. to forty-three. Sixers. Sixty-nine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 69. Oh they really my stuck. god, Cog. I agree with you on this one. Mm. Brownie time, Mitch. I already finished the box. <laughs> I already finished the damn box. That means you're depressed, huh? No, I just like brownies. And you know whenever you're watching something, you just go and eat. You don't even know. Now, I'm sure, man, I have. Ask a question. Do you drink milk with that brownies? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking a question. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I had my, my, my milk and cookies. Yeah, we yeah, we all grew up. No, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, I'll fuck with you a little bit. Yeah, it goes I around. I mean, we all going to get tr- treated like that. I don't know. Okay, so they won by 20. All right. Yay, the Knicks won. <laughs> They're one game over 500. <laughs> Who do you guys play next? Uh, Phoenix on Monday. Oh, you guys could win that. Who cares? I won't be watching that. I'll be watching Rutgers. Ah. Rutgers plays in Purdue, number one team in the country in, in Lafayette. On nice. Monday. So, and last year we beat them at home when they were the number one team. So it's like, please, let's get it. <clears throat> Go buy more. All right, why are you sitting there flashing your lights in my apartment? Get out of here. Okay, so there we go with that. Soon we'll have to. Damn, where'd further go? I think he was gonna eat dinner. That's so funny because I haven't eaten all damn day. Wait, what? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he's happy, happy, joy, joy. He sure is. (laughs) How did you guys not like? Can you imagine growing up with the last name Gay? Yes. Marvin Gay. Marvin Gay. Yeah. I'm just saying, just growing up with that last name, I'll be like, Yeah, I know. Marvin Gay actually added the E onto it because actually he's growing up his his father's last name is actually without the E. So he said I had to put the E on it because of that. Yeah. I respect that. <laughs> yeah, so it's but I get it. Yeah, it's it's back in the day it was a way different thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 2114. All right, CJ, what are you going to do, bro? What are you going to do? All right, CJ. Yeah, Dugan declares for the NFL draft. His draft profile. What is his grade going to be? Okay, thank you for the slight list to decide to go to. He's projected to be a seventh round draft pick. Hmm. I'm going to love breaking down his film. I'm definitely going to love breaking down his film. 
He should be higher than a seventh round pick, ain't he? Well, I'm just this is an early um, draft buzz, so I'm just trying yeah. to get a general idea. And then when I go do my um when I go do my draft evaluations, um, I'm gonna really get a general idea and compare him to all the quarterbacks out there. So I mean I've already started breaking down offensive linemen. I mean, I got my little notes, so now they said the running back for the text. Bijan 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 Robinson, yes. Yes. Is he now He's what I'm player. hearing? Oh, I, I'm glad you're here because I'm going to ask somebody. Mm-hmm. They say he's the next Barry Sanders. And when you say that to me, it kind of is a smack in the face. But to Barry Sanders, uh, is he, see. is he, does he play like Barry Sanders did? Who? Let's put it like this. He's he's more of like Saquon was at Penn State with his stop and go and jumping and, and his hop his um jumps uh stops. Um okay. he's a little bit is he is he let, let me double check. Because Barry Sanders think he's, the same thing, but Barry, Barry Sanders done it. Barry lot. Sanders at when he was he at Ohio, Oklahoma State, he was totally different too. I mean he was more one cut go because Playing there, their 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 blocking and their offense was was there at, at Detroit. Nah, he he just had to he had he to had get his own. Step, he had to do it all on his own because that's exactly all he had. exactly. So let me see, when Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. There's a whole different. That's a whole new. Whole, that's a different horse altogether. To me. Yeah. Okay. See, so, you know, Barry Sanders was five eight, which I know he was fast four three. And when he came out, yeah, he was about 200 pounds. So he was 5'8", 200 pounds. So Bijan, I think, what is he? Yeah, I thought so. He's six feet. That's why I say he's, he's six feet, 220. So he's more, clo- he's closer to Saquon. Oh. Okay. Lucas, I'm going to make a video about that tomorrow. Because when you say Barry Sanders, it just – even it's, if you yeah. go and go to a Hall of Famer and say, well, this guy plays like this, I'm like, stop this. This has to be stopped. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Stop calling somebody that's already in the Hall of Fame a guy darn, oh, this guy's the next Barry Sanders, or this guy – no, stop it. But unfortunately, that's what we always do when it comes to evaluations. We do, we do compare, and that's just the reality of it. And they just want to give you some type of uh, um, comparison. So, I mean, I mean, I would like you to compare it like you just did to me. Somebody that's playing now, exactly. Try to go to a Hall of Famer and say, "Hey, he is is good as Barry Sanders." Or hey, Jeff, you know, is that true? Of uh, halftime, he's as good as Barry Sanders. No, I don't. I don't, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding with you, bro. I'm just messing with you. How are you guys all doing? Happy, mm-hmm. happy New Year's Eve. And by the way, coach, mm-hmm. excellent job on the uh, stream you just did with uh, Tammy Thompson. Have to give you a shout out. I was no, just thanks, watching man. it before. You're welcome. I got to watch it. I'll watch it tomorrow. No, I mean, you know, like I said, she's the one that did all the work, actually. She made it easy for me. So it's just, you know, you know me, women in sports, especially being a CEO of a uh, minor league, semi-pro football league, you know, and also having own teams and coach, you know, you know, it's bringing light to women in sports. You know me, Jeff. No, I really enjoyed it, and it was a fantastic – and she she was fantastic on the interview too. I appreciate you doing that. And you, That's an excellent little niche that you have going on with the women in sports segments. I think it's, it's just absolutely incredible work that nobody else is really putting in the time. Nobody else really does that kind of segment. I'm glad that you're doing that, Coach. So, yeah. and no, this is not the uh, this is not the Coach Ed Gladney's kiss his ass thing right over here. <laughs> hey, first of all, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. You might as well, you, I mean, God, you might as well kiss his crack. <laughs> oh, oh, damn! Damn, you have halftime. That's 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 brutal. Oh, hey, what are you doing right now? Halftime. That's brutal, bro. Hey, hey. I gotta be. I'm happy right now because I'm gonna be popping that champagne tomorrow when we're gonna be in the playoffs. So I'm gonna keep so saying it. So are we. 
Yeah, but you guys are expected to be in the playoffs. You're not Nobody to be in the playoffs. Oh, how are we? All right. So you think we're losing to the Colts? All no. we have to do is beat the Colts. All, all <laughs> we have to do is, oh, you're no, I think ass. you're gonna die. We are not gonna tie the Colts. I think you're gonna tie. <laughs> There's no way in the hell they're sitting all their players. They're just putting Dockway on the on injured reserve. If we okay. tie the Colts, I am gonna go Ooh. nuclear on the live stream. Ooh. I'm gonna go Ooh. nuclear on the live stream if we tie this. If we oh. tie the Colts, Ooh. Coach, what? would you be mad if they tied? What happened? If who Coach? tied? If, if who tied? The Giants tied. They're not tying. Would I be mad? No, I, I I don't get mad off of stuff like that. But I would be extremely disappointed. So, but Jeff, it, I just something somebody sent me on Twitter or in my mentions. It just asks if you can bring one back, and it's a list of rap artists: Biggie, um, Easy E, uh, what's called from Mob D, DMX. Um, it would be Tupac. Big Pun, uh, Tupac. Oh, um, that's it's, it's, it, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, really, man. Oh my god, they're go he's gone. Touchdown. No, he didn't. No, oh not. my god, you got no. he pulled a oh, Daniel. Uh -huh. He pulled a Daniel Jones. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Uh, uh, this is what I was just I was like, he pulled, and, and then you said it. I was like, yeah. he pulled a Daniel. Yeah, he pulled a Daniel Jones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, coach, that that's, that's a tough one, Coach. Coach, that's a tough one. Huh? Yeah, I have and, to You know, Easy E. Easy E was a great, great. Hey, I, wait a minute. It was. This, what you call from Mob Deep? I love him. I love Mob Deep. It has to go to Biggie, Pac, and Pun. Damn. I love DMX. Oh. Happy New Year, what about Coolio? I, would, I think you're about to bring back Coolio. Get Shout out to the 14 in the cat. Here, can I, can I share this on, on your stream, Mitch? Go for it. I, I, I'll, just, I'll just show it to you guys real quick. That's a tough one. I'm going to make like a little Michigan video during halftime. <laughs> I just say Tupac uh, because he went. Let me know. It, it, be, it would be between no. Tupac and Biggie. All right, which one? What ones? up, man? You back? You can yeah, bring I just back one. Which... Hey, father. What's which up, one? Jeff? Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year to you too. Um, can I... Happy um... New Year to all the Michigan fans. Woo! Jeff, are you gonna have a drink with Mitch? <laughs> I don't drink. I want you to get him drunk. No. I can't drink. Mitch is gonna get drunk because he's pissed off. Michigan lost. <laughs> Do I look are you pissed gonna off? be pissed off? They bring in. The Giants tied. And you're gonna get, and you guys are All gonna right. get pissed off when you guys lose in the playoffs. <laughs> All right, Jeff, here you go. Yeah, here you go. Uh, Who? You'll be. No, I'm not going. Mm. Coach, this is tough. I, yeah, I um, think I mean, that's Nipsey too in there too. I forgot about that. That's right. What is the guy that was from Mob Deep that passed away recently? Tupac uh, for me. Tupac for me. Also, Coolio. I mean, Coolio, I thought, was one of the most underrated rappers. He just passed away recently, too. I gotta throw yeah. him up there. Yeah. yeah Tupac, Tupac for me. It had to be Tupac or Biggie. It, but don't forget Pun. Most yeah, pun when you, If you really listen to Pun, it's like, all right, I'll stop sharing it, too. Sorry. <laughs> if you if you really listen to Pun, it's just like, yo, his his style, his, his flair, his pizzazz. It's just mm -hmm. and, and but yeah, I mean I can understand Pac and I can understand Biggie, but but how big? How uh, let me ask you a question. How big do you think Tupac would have been or Biggie would have been? I can't. Is that it? Prodigy, Prodigy oh, was yeah, the one from Prodigy. That's yeah, Prodigy him, yeah. passed away yeah. recently. Thank you, Random. <laughs> So hey, I mean, not, if now if you, if you if you say nowadays, well, first of all, the game is to totally different. For me, they would be they would just be sitting at the top because. Hey Jamar, what's up, Jamar? What's up, Jamar? Happy New Year, man. Easy. Yeah. I mean, all of them, you know, because first and foremost, just their ly lyrical abilities alone, that alone just takes it to another level. It's just. Well, Tupac would have been a movie star too. Yeah, 
Yeah. I mean, because he, he had a couple of movies that it went were pretty damn good. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I mean, Biggie was just, I mean, the way he delivered and his the lyrics. Wait, and, and beat is away from three assists away from a triple double. All right. Okay. Well, it's against the Thunder. He should do it. Coach, that's a tough one. I that that's so, yeah, that's why that's it's really just, tough. <clears throat> yeah, no, he Tupac. I'm just gonna say Tupac. Hey, hey, I can't be mad at you, Mitch. I can't be mad at you with that. I mean, I, I respect say it's that. Tupac, but I say Tupac because how big I think he could have been. But remember yeah, how big, B, remember how big B, Biggie was too. Biggie yeah. was. They're all icons. Let's be honest. See, oh, Pac, yeah. you, you oh, had, like you said, if you, Pac had also his acting ability, so yeah. he brought another, another uh, creativity level to to the game. But if yeah. we're just talking about straight rapping, that's tough. Uh, it's like you know, just I mean, you could sit for hours just listening all all of them. Just and I mean, them. Pac, they they still I think to this day they're still coming up with stuff for for Pac, even bigger. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's like it's like oh man. To me, to me it's Tupac, but it's because how big of a level I think he could have been. He could. Yeah. They're all icons. I'm not. Don't, yeah. No. Don't, exactly. Was, exactly. Yeah, I'm not smacking none of these guys in the mouth. It's just it's Tupac always... had the movies and he had yeah. that. Exactly. I mean, he was. You're doing absolutely it right. Uh, he was doing it before everybody. Exactly. So I he mean, wait. The whole, he made that on. A whole did, new game. Yeah, did you guys like uh, Mac Miller at all or no? Mm, he was okay. No, okay. He's okay. You know why I like him? Was that? He's Jewish. He was. I didn't even know that. Okay, so what about, um? what's his name from... Um... Mitch. Ah, oh, damn, what's his hey! name? Hey! Hey, what's Eminem? up, Joey? No, uh, um, from Joey. he was in the eighties. Not he was in the late eighties. Yo, what up, I mean. Joey? Vanilla what up, man? No, um, dude, why would you say Vanilla Ice? Bring him into AM. What's it? What's his name? Damn, how am I forgetting his name? It's oh my god, Mac Ice, Ice uh, Baby. No, the guy from Boston, right? Who? No, he's from New York City. Oh, no, no. He and um, I don't know who you're talking about. Hey, Joey, Milkbone. No, Meltbun. Now I'm gonna have to look him up now. I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's it's gonna be. It's like one of those things that's gonna bother you the entire night because you you yeah. have an idea who it is, but you just can't think of the name. Hey, what the hell? I just turned off this game and it was twenty-one to seven. It's already twenty-one twenty-one. Yeah. What the hell? So some people are T for Golden Age of Hip Hop. Yeah. Oh, Jeff. I think I'm gonna do the Everla- Everlast. Is, Everlast is still alive. Oh, I remember Modest yeah. Yahoo. I remember Modest Yahoo, the uh, J- the uh, mm-hmm. Israeli rapper. Oh, I remember mm-hmm. him. What happened to that guy? And I remember Everlast. He did that really big song. Uh, what is like? Williams, you should. And also, Bay Shante. Right, yes, sir. I'm, the- I'm gonna do the game with you tomorrow night. I'll put my channel on there tomorrow. I'm thinking about doing the uh, the national championship game, but I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm doing I'm it. Just- well, that's why I'm thinking about doing it, but I don't want to leave Earl in the dark. That's why. Yeah, it's me, AM. I think Randy's going to join us. Noriega, yeah. Charlie Baltimore. I love me some Charlie uh, Baltimore. I was actually just, Coach, I was just listening to Noriega earlier. Oh, that's mm-hmm. 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 Noriega, and all of them. Noriega solo. It's good stuff. I, I, I remember them. Do you ever heard of, uh, do you remember the song um, Deja Vu? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before Tyreek mm-hmm. and Peter yeah. Guns? Yes. Mm hmm. That was a staple of New York hip hop back in the late '90s. Exactly. Love it. So it's. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, now I'm getting um. Oh my god! Now I'm getting comments on my short I did about the college football playoff rankings. Huh? I made a short when uh, they announced the top four teams in the college football rankings. Mm-hmm. So now I'm getting comments of people laughing. Well, because you lost, that's why. Yeah, I know. <laughs> MC Search. I knew it. Uh, Thank you. MC Search from third base. Mm-hmm. MC oh, Search. Oh, I remember third base. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. Mm-hmm. I forgot all about it. He, he, he remember, Uh-oh. search is a Jewish Somebody's rapper. Hurt. Oh, crap. Yeah. Somebody on George is hurt. I didn't see it. Yeah. I'm on a delay. Is that their tight end? Yeah, Nas is, you know, man. It's, it, man, we could sit here and talk hip hop for hours, man, for days. Don't let's do it. Lisa left eye Lopez. Like watch, yo, we're just chilling, watching football, and talking. Because it's, it's left hard. Because it's underrated. like, you know, you got the Nas, you got the Run DMC debate, you got yes. the LL, you got, I mean, you know, uh, Jay Z. I mean, where do you, mm-hmm. for me, my ultimate Eminem. is always going to be Rock Him. Rock Him to me is the ultimate. Hands down, then KRS One is like right under him. But I love KRS One. You know, I also go back to UTFO crew, Houdini. Mm-hmm. It's like it's no, like, Houdini. Exactly. So I mean, B- BDK. Exactly. You they, know. Were they, they, they were good. They were all. Uh, <laughs> Coach ain't lying, dude. I'm like, it, that's what a I'm lot saying. of good. There's so many you, underrated you, rappers back in the day. Now, let me ask you guys this. Mm-hmm. Would you classify Sir? Will Smith as a rapper? Because some people I talk to say no. Okay. See, when Will Smith came out, he was a rapper. Yes. Right. An artist, right. Or whatever it is you want to consider him. But because he transitioned to mainstream and and his pathway, you know, some people, it, it, it it's saying like it's, to some, it's like he's lost touch with the streets with his, with his rap. But when yeah. he first came out, yeah, he was a rapper. Yes, he was. he was a rapper. I mean, it, you know, was, he, he was his, his, and you saw him start watching. Aaron, just don't understand. Exactly. <laughs> but he was starting to watch language because he wanted to be more family. Means, exactly. So, and summer, that's the whole summer, thing. Summer that's my summer. favorite song of his. So, it's like, you know, mind. look, there's some artists who, some rap artists who, you know, they were in the streets, the streets is them, and they want to, they, they keep it, and they want to say that, they say they want to keep it real. You exactly. know, some people like, like Brandon was saying, Will Smith, they said is corny. You know, okay. You know, that's who, how you feel. You know, there are those, and I know from my era who Will Smith was a big rap artist in the 80s and the 90s. He just yes, was. He was yes, yes, he was. Yes. In the 90s, he was a big rap artist before he became a movie star. Exactly. And, and that, he became that, a little bit more commercialized, too. But <clears throat> it's because they said, hey, you got to watch your language. That he's like, all right, because he yeah. didn't make more money. Mm-hmm. But, but money hello. Ball. Exactly. How many of us, if we were in that opportunity, but you getting paid millions, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars in front of you? Yeah, there are, there's going to be some that are like, I'm not selling out. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there aren't going to be some. But the vast majority are going to be like, yo, I got to feed my family. I got to do what I got to do. Oh, yeah. Congrats, yeah. Uh, congrats on your win, Jeff. The Nets. Congrats. Oh, I'm on the I'm on, I'm like on the moon right now with that basketball team. They're just they're they're playing incredible basketball. I, I'm just who are you guys absolutely. against next? We play San Antonio, then we play Chicago, and then we have a date with New Orleans after that. Oh, the um, Spurs in Chicago. That's we quickly play well too, Coach. Uh, you know, Manuel yeah, quickly had a big game tonight. Yeah, I saw that. That's something they need to step up their game is Manuel quickly. Oh, quickly. How did he do? Twenty-seven points. Dang, that's one twenty. Wow. Yeah. Uh, did he have twenty-seven? Wait a minute, double check that. Couldn't. Be, uh, what you call it? Had thirty-five. Six twenty-seven. I think he had. Yeah, he had twenty-seven. Randall had thirty-five. Grimes had nineteen. Mm-hmm. Nice. They were the only ones in double what figures. What about Brunson? Did he play or he's, no? He's hurt. Him and um and RJ right up in now. the middle by Georgia. RJ's out because of that laceration, that deep laceration, and and Brunson has the hit. Right. You thought it was Bruce Arians. Huh? Huh? Bruce Arians? What? Who said that? Random. What? (laughs) You thought, how did you get Bruce Arians from Notorious (laughs) B.I.G.? What? Uh, I mean, I guess because of the glasses and me sitting in front of it and the hat, he does wear the hat. So that's uh, true. I, that's true. I, I I respect that. I respect that. Bruce Arians. But nice. yeah, I, yeah, the hat threw you. Okay, okay. That's that's fine. That's no, fine. It's, I, I'm just no, I'm just messing with you, random. No, I I I got I, you. No, you know, that's I, I the Bucks probably wish that Bruce Arians was coaching their team right now, and I like Todd mm. Bowles. Mm. 
Mm. I do. I like you know, Todd Bowles, Bowles, but it's been a rough season for that team. Todd Bowles, Elizabeth, Elizabeth's finest. I, I like I like Bowles, coach. I do. I'm a big yeah. fan of Todd no, Bowles. I, I think he's a phenomenal defensive coordinator, but I don't know if the guy can coach. Okay. <laughs> DC, but is he a head coach? There's a difference. I, don't think so. I think he's a great defensive coordinator, that's but he's one point. of those guys that's not a good head coach. <clears throat> and that's why, like, I uh, was it? Um, Halftime asked me earlier, am I an offense or a defensive minded coach? And I said, I'm all around. Some coaches are, you know what? That's their forte. Yes. And that's where they're good at. Me, it's, you know, and some coaches are all around. Look at Bill Belichick. What was Bill Belichick before he be, before he became a head coach? Defensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I, always did, thought, I always thought a defense of mine could always switch to offense. Because Ken. they could read, they could read a defense and say, "Hey, this is what they're doing. Let me do this," and boom. That's what Daniel Quinn used to do with the Falcons. And sometimes it don't work. Sometimes that defensive coordinator cannot switch over to the offense and know how to counter it. But uh, Bill Belichick is different because I think he also played. Did he play? Offense in, in college, I think he played offense. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. yeah. Hey Jeff, I don't know if you saw Twitter, but Raf gave you guys you a shout out. Shame with um a lot of the Giants content creators for a great um, job you're doing, Raphael. Um, Raphael. Oh, I didn't. Even, I didn't even know that. I haven't checked Twitter all day, but Raphael, if you're in the chat, man, thank you so much, and I appreciate everybody out there that's been supporting Raphael, me myself the whole time. Thank you, Raphael. Yeah, he did with me yeah, too. Yeah, Raphael. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Raphael, for supporting the legendary Philly yeah. halftime. <laughs> mm. Yep, Belichick played as center and tight end in college, but he's a, he's also considered the one of the greatest defensive masterminds. That's what taught me how to basically expand my game. It's like don't just be one sided. Right. You know, this man played college. He played offense in college and got to the NFL. And then look at him now where people say, oh, well, you know, he's a defensive mind. Why, you know, his defense is so great, but the offense is the man played offense in college. He knows offense. You so, read Belichick was a center and also a tight end. A tight end, yep. So if, if you're a good coach, you should be able to coach any phase because if you study the techniques, you'll be able to teach the techniques. Just because you didn't play them doesn't mean you can't teach them and you can't right. learn and expand your game. But the guy always, the guy yeah. always thought that a defensive coordinator could always switch over and know how to counter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes mm-hmm. they just can't. They just can't. No, Wait, exactly. Yeah. Did Cena get the pin on Roman Reigns? No, it was Owens. Owens pinned Sami Zayn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was uh, I was doing the live stream last night with uh, Rob and Tyler. Well, when we, well, we, well, you were, well, actually, right, you were there too. But you were you were I was, in and out. I was mad. I was mad. Mm-hmm. As mad as you are tonight? No, I was actually more mad about yesterday than tonight. You mad, Rich? You mad? You mad? You mad, man? You mad, man? You mad, you mad, 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 Do I look mad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be rich. mad if we lose to the Nets by like 20. That would make me mad. That could happen. Hey, Georgia came Where back. Where the Nets playing? Look, Georgia's coming back. I want to see Philly halftime get mad. I like going to Philly oh, halftime no, get mad. It's funny. No, you don't. No, Listen, I've seen you get mad. I've seen you get mad halftime. It's kind of funny. No, you <laughs> haven't seen me mad. You have me see me. That's just me frustrated. You ain't seen me mad. <laughs> it might happen in the playoffs. Th- things will get frustrated. I will. Wait, frustrate. here's a good question: Is Andy Reid the longest winningest coach ever? Because it's hard to be a good head coach for a long time. Well, it's between for the him Philadelphia and Belichick. Or yeah. Belichick. It's between him and Belichick. Winningest. Wait a minute, longest winningest? No, yes. isn't, it, isn't it Don Shula? Yeah, I think no. Shula. No, I think it might be Bel- no, it's oh, Lombardi. Lombardi. Yeah. Shoot. Is it Lombardi? Andy Reid passed. Him. I think you're right. It might be Don Shula. I think uh, I think uh, Andy Reid passed him. Hold on, I'm looking it up now. Soldiers winning. Don Shula, 328. George Howes, 318. Belichick, 297. Landry, 250. Andy Reid, 235. Oh. 
Top five. Yeah. And if we look at winning percentage, Shula's 677, House is 682, Belichick is, oh, wow, 666, Andy's <laughs> Reid is 634. <laughs> that's 666, yo. That's bugging me out, right? Yo, that's, that's telling. No way they could get you right there. That's, that's pretty telling. We got some conspiracy theorists coming out now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait, is Barcel Parcells is twelve at one seventy two? Damn, Coughlin is right behind him at one seventy with Mike Shanahan. Hmm. Okay. Hey Jeff, I wanted to ask you something. So yes, I man. saw that you saw the stream. I heard that. Um, to the stream. I, know you did. I did on purpose. Yeah, no. The Eagles and Giants, right? Because yes, I don't man. know who's gonna play. I don't know who's going to play. So who do you want on the thumbnail for that? I, I, don't, I, I don't know who to play. Put, put whoever you want. It doesn't matter. You can put – I mean, if we handle our business and you handle our business – well, I think we'll still play some of our guys because I don't see – I don't see Dayball just, you know, sitting everybody. He might play them for a half or something. Position. Just to like, you know, just to like, you know, not have them be completely – cold going into the playoffs, but I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to get some of the other guys in there to get them experience, you know, more playing time too. Yeah. I'm just going to wait till after this week for that thumbnail and then I'll see. Okay. Like whoever wins. So. I was gonna um, say, why don't you wait until it's shit. You yeah. find out what's going on. Hey, Jeff. What's up? You know what the Giants did today, right? Yeah, they activated Xavier McKinney. But they also cut your boy. Oh, David, David Sills is not my boy. <laughs> I know that. I know that. What? I know David that. David Sills? <laughs> I know oh, that. Oh, you mean the, another one of those preseason warriors that everybody yeah, loves? That's, that's Sills all the cool. thing. You got to be the, kidding the, me. The Look at this. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Mm. Oh, touchdown. Oh. That wow. Was, wow. I forgot who Kenny is. That was nice. I'm so far behind. Xavier oh, Johnson. So it's got to be another one of those young no, receivers. but there's defense. Yeah, what oh, is happening to this great defense? Woo! This but you great can also say that about – don't forget, don't forget Michigan. Michigan. Michigan with their defense. And uh, Michigan's defense. I don't really want to hear today. about my defense. Their defense yeah, sucked but, today. Yeah, today it sucked, but going in, you didn't expect this. No. You didn't expect this from Georgia. I didn't expect this from Georgia, especially in the first half. Yeah, Ohio State's just running the – they're literally Man. passing the football up and down on this team. You thought they were run on the team, but no, they're just pass happy. This it is goes, incredible. It goes back – and what this is saying is C.J. Stroud is saying, I'm the number one overall draft pick. Exactly. And he's proving it. But is he, though? Because, I mean, look at the wide receivers this kid has got. Yeah, because look what he's doing to Georgia. That's my point. Georgia's defense is considered elite, if not the you know, best you're right in all on of that. You're right. You're right. If, if you're saying, if you're saying, Georgia's so elite, and he's just willingly, no, you're right. You're right on that one. Throwing it right down the middle and staying imagine, in the pocket, no problems. Like, imagine Carson coming to the link for the playoffs in the playoffs. Oh, please. Yo, that's a possibility. Look, look, look. Right now, I said it earlier. I said it earlier. If anything, to be brutally honest, we should want all the NFC East teams to make the playoffs and win in the first round to get to the second round because that means we basically shut everyone else out and it's all about our division. Yeah. Right. That's exactly what I want. I want every single I'll one be, of those teams I, in the playoffs. I don't want to see Frisco. I don't want to see Tampa bums. I don't want to see all of them. Nope. I want to be an NFC East playoff, and we all beat each other up in the playoffs. It will, it, it will, it will make the 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 watching of the NFC playoffs that much more intense across the country. And I don't want to ever hear about this. Uh, which division in the NFL is the best? Because it's definitely got to be the NFC. Oh, East. The NFC we East. hate each other so question. much. Look, it was supposed to be the West. It was supposed would, to be the I West. Love, I would love that. That's one thing I would like to say. If the Eagles, Dallas. Giants and Washington can all go in the playoffs at the same time. I don't think I ever seen that. It's never happened because we have the new yeah. format. What, yeah, because remember, that's, that's what I'm saying. I've never seen it before. Yeah. So that would be interesting to me. Exactly. So the first time 
Um, don't forget, this is to me, this is the division of champions, period. Case closed. Exactly. So, you, every, look, I said it earlier, every team has a championship. We can joke and give each other a hard time about how many, but no other division can touch us in that regard. None. Right. So, you know, they, they can say, oh, our division has won six, our team has won six championships. Okay, that might be one team. You know, we have a whole division that's what? Five, four, nine, three is 12, 13 championships. 13. T- show me another division that's even close to that. You don't have that. Nobody's got what we got. Mm-hmm. You don't have it. Frisco hey, has almighty. One. I'm out Frisco of time. has five. Pittsburgh has six. The At Ravens least have when two. He comes in. Huh? So now, I love when Almighty Ravens comes in eight. and like just chipper immediately. <laughs> he says, the Eagles immediately. I love Let it. Let me see. The Patriots have six. The Hi, Jets have one. The, one. The, 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 and the, and the oh Dolphins have down. two. So that's Your nine. You're going to lose to the Colts, Almighty. Stop it. We are not losing to the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Hunt. I'm sorry. No, you're, no, no. you're tying the Colts. Tie. You're tying the Colts. Okay. Tie okay. One. okay. That's it. And when you tie them, you're going to be so pissed off that you man, tie. Man, you guys are all so yeah, cocky yeah, going to the playoffs, thinking you're just going to beat everybody yeah, up, and then you're going to run into the 49ers, and they're going to put you guys right in your place. Yeah, we're going to beat the 49ers. I think the next, you know what you're going to say? Yeah, the next closest division, had, uh, they all have nine. The quarterback wasn't ready. Oh, wait a minute. The, the Chiefs no, they have make what? that excuse. They, 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 they shut the hell up. The if we face the 49ers, they'll be in the NFC Championship game because their seed's so high. Yeah, I know. I know. But it is possible. It is very possible. Won't you guys play Dallas, though, too? Isn't it possible you guys could play Dallas in the second if round? If Dallas yeah. beats the 49ers. Uh, no, no, no. The they got to beat the Panthers or yeah, someone from that division. Tampa Bay and win. Yeah, they're probably going to play Tampa Bay. And they're going to lose to Tampa Bay. We're probably either going to San Francisco or we're going to Minnesota. Either one of them. Yeah, so you're going to get spanked. No, we can, if we go to Minnesota, we can mm. beat Minnesota. San Francisco will be tough. That's going to be a tough Frisco's game. Frisco's their defense is tough, yes. Yeah, so I have to admit yeah. that. Yeah, and you would different. be playing in San Francisco at Levi's Stadium. But, but Levi's Ed, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say Levi Stadium is the home field advantage. I think that stadium is like Candlestick Park. It's hard to get a win in San Francisco. Georgia but gets the, the ball at half. The Giants always play them tough, though, whenever we go out there and play them. Historically. Think about oh. it. You know, we've we gotten, what, two wins out of there to go to the Super Bowl and one loss? And that one loss yeah. um, was the, the – the miraculous ineligible man downfield, no pass interference when oh, he was an eligible oh. let, me, so, let me stir the pot here. Is the the t- oh, wow. In the series, is tied 21 20. Halftime. There you go. I put the your name. I put the score underneath you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Say. There you what'd go. What would you say further? I said, historically, you guys actually are tied 21 to 21 in the all time record. But you awesome. are right. The, the last time that you guys faced at 49ers was in 2018, mm-hmm. and you did mm-hmm. beat them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it, it's – it's and in playoffs, if you look at the playoffs when it counts the most, that's when I think it's always – I mean, and, and we destroyed them. Yeah, you beat them in overtime 2012 in the playoffs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then before that – I mean, you, you can. That go was a and... great game. I remember that game. Oh my god! I don't know if it's the MVP is Kevin Durant. Look what Luca did: fifty-one points, six boards, nine assists, six for ten from three. What? Huh? How? Damn. I, now I'm not. I'm not feeling too. Oh yeah, first of all, who did they play? Let me let me look at who they just played. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Almighty, what is wrong with you? Oh, they what played the now? Spurs. They played the Spurs. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, the Spurs suck. The Spurs are not hey, good. Hey, but that those numbers though. But that, wait a minute. That's his third game with 50 points or more. Exactly. So, At least the least the league with eight. We're, we're around there, but that's besides the point. Fires, fireworks are shooting off by my house already. Oh, really? Cool. It's yeah. Been doing that for me. Everybody's getting so, that uh, 
We're getting everybody is drinking the bubbly a little bit too early, I guess, before our New Year's actually kicks <laughs> yeah. off. Bro, go, I go haven't even Brunswick, started Jeff. yet. Good Jeff, go to New Brunswick. They start at nine o'clock and they keep going until one o'clock in the morning. No, you're not Non-stop. wrong. I've I've been there. I've been to no, the new yeah. New Brunswick uh, for for the fourth. Uh, I said fourth and July, it's not, New Year's. It, yeah, it's not, it, and you can go around all the blocks and they're all out there shooting off fireworks. It's like everyone waits for that. Hertz played a quite a few big games, only lost one. Okay. What about in the playoffs? He was hurt. He was, but has he played any big games in the playoffs? Jalen had the hurts. He was hurt going Put on the ball. Flesh. No. Yeah, and that's – that's really where most quarterbacks, you know, really, really earn their reputation. They could be great during the regular season, but come playoff times. There's a lot of quarterbacks that could never uh, make the mustard in the playoffs. One of the one, one of the best ones to never win the Super Bowl, Dan Marino. Marino. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, that guy, that dude, like, it was phenomenal. I can't it's- understand how he did not get one. Who do you lose to? Was it the defense that really was the thing that they had no run? The defense and they had no running game. They didn't have a running game. It was just Dan Marino and his arm. And the Marx brothers. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Um, Dan Marino was. Duper and Clayton. uh, Was it Ingram or Clayton? No, Duper and Clayton. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Ingram played for the Giants, senior. But yeah. Damn and then he went no, there. He went okay. there. Did he go there afterwards? Yeah, after after Marino went to the Super Bowl, he went there. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because Marino went to the Super Bowl was his third or fourth year out. I think it was his third. Yeah, yeah. I think it was his third one that he did. Imagine though, Jets fans, you had him in the palm of your hands, and you went for Ken O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jets, Jets fans, Jets fans cannot catch a damn break. They, they really can't. Hey, look, I'm sorry, y- y'all could kill me and say it's way too early, but I'm sorry they did it again. W- oh, they, Will, oh, we know Wilson, they did. Wilson they did. over Justin Fields. Come on, Justin Fields is not the greatest, but he's definitely no, he's more better talented. Than Zach Wilson. He's, okay. he's, he's better than Zach Wilson, but Justin Fields ain't that great. No, but that's my point with the Jets. They always pick the wrong quarterback. Yeah. So yeah, they could have had just Zach Wilson. I get, I get what you're saying. You put Justin Fields on on the Jets right now. They are a better team than they are right now than the, where they are right now. And I think oh, they're definitely facts. in the playoffs. That's yeah, facts. Yes, yes, you're 100 percent right. So, because they have that's wild, always find a way to Jets. They have wild receivers and they have an offensive line, and they have the running game for the most. And they got part. a good running game. Yes, and they got a good defense. Defense, exactly. So you have all the components. They the only are. Thing you don't have is a quarterback. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> they like if they drafted a rookie quarterback next year, as long as you put him in, if you treat him like Steelers did with Ben Roethlisberger back in the day, I think they can do what they need to do to get go far during the regular season and possibly make a run in the playoffs. Yeah. If you give them the right quarterback. I don't even know how the Jets can even fix it because every time they pick a quarterback, they always pick the wrong one. That's that's the truest statement anything the anybody's ever they, made. It's, they it's always the wrong one. I'm like, they don't ever know how to pick a quarterback. No matter how yeah, exactly. hard they try, they always pick the wrong, the wrong. guy. No, Did they have an no. opportunity at Favre? They had at one point. They had one, yeah, Chad, Chad Penning. Chad, Chad Penning. The Pennington was solid. He was That's solid. True. I'm not going to say he was elite, but he was solid. So, they had but, Brett Favre, but Brett Favre didn't have an offensive line with him or a no. defense like they have now. Exactly. So, so and, when you had Brett Favre, you'd be like, oh, I got Brett Favre, but mm-hmm. I ain't got the weapons that Brett Favre needs exactly. to compete. Exactly. So Brett Favre so, said, yo, I'm going to go to Minnesota because they had the weapons. Right. And that that's my point. It's like, you know, if you give them the right quarterback now, I mean, almighty, are they getting car? Can they afford car? Because no, he's he's afford. still on the contract and you you have to eat a lot of that money. Can they afford car? How, how are you going to get what are you going to do? Give up your whole draft capital? How much under the cap of the Jets? Uh, wait a minute, I'll tell you in one second. It might still be a good amount because a lot of the players on the roster are either on one or two year deals or they're rookies or second year players. They got a lot of young players on that team, exactly. So they're kind of they're kind of this. 
they're kind of the Cincinnati Bengals in a sense for me because they have a lot of young talent that's on, that are on rookie contracts that if they do it right, they can position themselves. Um, right now, as of right now, uh, they're three on that two, two for 23 estimated. And I'm only going by what's the um, SPO track. I didn't do over the cap. They're estimated to have about 15, 16 million. So that's that's uh, so I mean that's still a good amount. Contract. Yeah, but Card getting. I'm trying to get to David. Carr. I mean, not, not David Carr. Damn it, what's his name? Is it David? No. Carr. I hate my computer. I hate. I'm, I'm sorry. D- David Carr was the yeah. one that got destroyed in Houston Derek Carr. on that horrendous offensive yeah, line. Yeah, Derek Carr. Derek's younger brother. All right, this year his base is 17. Next year, his base is 16. There's no way the Jets can afford him. You have to make major cuts to get him. Yeah, you're not he's 32 go. 9 as a base, and then 24, he's 41 9 and 41 2 and 25. And then his cap hit is 34. 34-8 or 34-9, 43-9, and 43-2. So anybody who takes them, you got to take on a large or sum of money to get on their car. That's why I don't think it's going to be easy for somebody to, t- to get him. Why don't you sign him and then extend him to a new deal? Extend him to a new deal, and then you uh, shorten out that you could uh, spread the money out to future years. You, you, you do realize you just told somebody to take a pay cut, right? No, 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 no. It, well, no, yeah, I didn't say take a pay cut. I didn't say, well, I mean, it's sort but, of a pay no, cut, but if you want to fit him on your roster, you're, your you're salary ex- cap. In other words, what you're doing is you're extending his contract. He's getting his money no matter what. He's not He's not taking a pay cut. He gets his money. It's just they're just spreading the contract over longer years, so they're eating it even if hey. he's possibly not on the roster in the future. So, so I just pretty have- much story about Michigan. There you go. You will have to give him – more money up front for him to do that. Wait, who are you talking about? David Derek Carr. Oh. <laughs> would you front load the contract or would you back load it? Like your your si- his you back load it. His sign in bonus has to be bigger for him to do that. You gotta um, give him something, see something. wanting to do that. Okay. If if for twenty three you had him, if he's released Pre June first, actually his dead cap is only five five point six mil. And then post, so actually you're saving money if you cut them. Yeah, they're so, gonna, I think, oh, they're, I, they're I going they're going they're going to cut them. Yeah, they're, they're going to cut them. Then okay, then if that's the case, then yeah, I can see the Jets making a play if it's feasible. Because yeah, you're not getting that. So would you? Yeah, would the Jets do a Tom Brady? Hey guys, here's my short I just made no. about Michigan. So there no. you go. No, he's not. Uh, I don't think Tom Brady's going to the Jets. I think I think he's no. going to retire. But nah, I think Brady's I think he, going to the Giants. I don't Niners. think he is. I don't think he's going to retire halftime. I think he's going to want to car play. to the Giants. No, no well, he's well, not first going and foremost, you think, you think Tom Brady's he's not going to the Giants? Number one, number two. Who message? Do I think Brady is going to stick around? You, you, at forty six, you think Tom Brady's still going to play? Does he want? But does he want to go out the way the he's money. going? I think somebody will. No, we win the win the win. If might. somebody gives but him the money, be, he's playing. He can be a reporter right yeah. now. He can make four times the amount. I think somebody's desperate enough to do it halftime, especially if they think they're close and they need a quarterback. I could see a team desperate enough to go to close sign out Tom, Tom Brady Park. for a year, two year. <clears throat> yeah. To so close Derek out Derek Carr, Carr is going to be the hot guy here. out there next here's year. The, here's the here's the wait a minute. It depends on when the Raiders de- designate his his release or tr- or yeah. or if you can trade him. Because if it's pre June first, you're saving twenty one point two five mil. If it's after June first, you're saving thirty three mil. So there's a difference of about almost four million dollars. You might just that. So you Joel you designate have, him uh, June first. Let's go. You want me to be honest? 
You said I think Daniel Jones is better than Je- Derek Carr. I said it. Personally, yeah. Daniel Jones is better than Derek Carr. I do too. Like I said, it's, look at what he I had. I know it's not Carr his has... He's got everybody. He had well, first... Renfro. He had Adams. He had uh, Jacobs, who was good. I mean, who did – I mean, I know it's an Derek excuse. Carr last don't like year to hear over, over 5,000 yards. No, he did. And he had lesser talent on that team last yeah. year. He but did. That's true. You had to blame the coach on that. Well, the coaching doesn't help, and the coaching has helped Daniel Jones. That is true. Okay, but, but there's also one other factor. Derek Carr is going to be 32 next year. Yeah. Daniel, Daniel Jones, Jones is, is still 20. going to prime. Yeah, he's, he's what, 25? 24, 25? Yeah. 24, 25. Oh, shoot. I mean, if you think about it, going into this free agency, the quarterback that looks the most appealing is Daniel Jones. He is. Because Lamar Jackson get... would be the other guy, but he's not He's not mm-hmm. going anywhere. Baltimore's probably going to keep him. It's probably Daniel Jones if the so Giants are going to sign him. The Giants are going to keep Daniel Jones, and you guys got to go build around him. So you're going to go get some uh, wide receivers. and you're gonna well, sign... Jones and Barkley and the offensive line. You're going to sign line. Barkley and get help your offensive line. And your yeah. defense. The, the thing is the defense. See, that's the thing. You got to build complementary. Is Daniel Jones an elite quarterback? No. No. But number one, you can probably get Daniel Jones from anywhere from, tw- dare I say, 27 to about 33, 34. Mm. Where we're just talking about Derek Carr at, at 30, what, 30, I mean, Derek Carr. He's at, at 32 going in, or going up to 41. Yeah. Don't get the quarterback market. The quarterback market is in the 40s right now or close to the 40s. You have nine quarterbacks. Set it. You have nine quarterbacks that are over forty million dollars. Yeah, right now, nine. And you're going to have a lot more. Lamar Jackson is going to set the market too. When he's he going to set the market, so you can get Daniel Jones for that money at at a more affordable rate in comparison to going out to try and get a Lamar Jackson because yeah. you're going to have to pay Lamar Jackson, I say, about fifty million dollars. Probably. I really think you're going to have to pay him $50 million because who's the top quarterback? Uh, I said it before. Is it Mahomes or Allen? I think it's Mahomes or Allen that might be top. Um, no, it's which part? No, I think – is it Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers, yes. Oh, it's right. It, yeah, no, you're right. It is Rodgers, yeah. My, um, Mahomes is 49 and what's it called? It's 40, uh, 49. They're tied Josh Allen? No, the uh, one for um, the Cleveland Browns. Oh, uh, Watson. That's right. Yeah. Deshaun oh, yeah. Watson. So apparently, according to Almighty, Lamar Jackson's on the way. I don't know. Daniel Jones. Okay, Almighty, is Lamar back. Jackson's not going nowhere. They're not that. Oh, you're right, crazy. Almighty. Yeah, he is. He's coming. He's been okay. saying that all season. Okay. All Aaron Rodgers is at 50.3. Russell Williams at 49. Kyler Murray's at 46. Deshaun Watson's at 46. Come on, give me the rest of them, dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, well, Pearl is going to get paid Here soon too. Mahomes is at forty-five. Josh Allen's mm-hmm. at forty-three. Derek Carr is at forty, and this is average salary. Dak Prescott's at forty. Matt Stafford's at forty. Kirk Cousins at thirty-five. Jared Goff is okay. at thirty-three-five. Carson Wentz at thirty-two, which goes to my point about Daniel Jones. You How can much get is Kyler Murray making? For 40, Seven, 44? forty-four. Forty-six point one. He signed oh a five-year, two hundred and thirty point five million dollar contract. Oh That's, my see, now god! This is the problem. That is Matt, trash. Matt Ryan is making thirty. Ryan Tannehill is twenty-nine five. Jimmy Garoppolo is twenty-seven five. You can't get Daniel yeah. Jones for about thirty to thirty-five. No, Jones is going to want You're more. Gonna, don't forget the Jones market is gonna, is going yeah, to want thirty-five four mil. He's going to get. He's going to get his money and. Don't forget, you have TV money coming in next year because, remember, they did the uh, Amazon this year. They don't get that money. So that money is going to be thrown into there, too. So the market is going to increase. Daniel Jones, if he's – Yes. So Daniel Jones is smart. He's not – I know Giants Nation. We, you know, some of us want him. Some of us don't. Whatever. If he's smart as a true businessman, you wait. You wait. You You got to wait. You know know, I should wait, uh, uh, Coach? Saquon Barkley should wait too yeah, because yeah, he's going to yeah. get paid. He's well, going to get paid 
big. He's going to get Although paid. But it sounds like we're probably going to franchise him. It sounds I think like. we, I think they're going to franchise him. I mean, I know he doesn't have to take it, but also I think you can designate where um, you can get draft picks for him if he leaves. So it's not like you yeah. know you're getting nothing for him. So, but as far as Daniel Jones with the quarterback market, y'all going y'all about ready to go through that with Jalen Hurts. Yeah, Hurts yeah, is going to get a monster to. contract. He's going to look yeah. at what uh, Kyler Murray got in the offseason, yep. and that might be a starting point. He's, and he played, like he's been better. He's going to get like $48 million. And it depends yeah. on what he does in the playoffs. Yes. Yeah. It's, yes, that's what he's waiting on. But he's not He's not stupid. He's going to wait for Lamar Jackson to make the Exactly. To make exactly. the play. You have and Daniel to. Jones can wait for them, too. He can, if too. Daniel Jones plays Daniel well in the playoffs, to. he's going to look, too. If, exactly. Daniel, if Daniel Jones don't do, and wait, everybody should be waiting for Lamar Jackson. Yes, you set the price yeah. because we're coming right above you. Exactly. You're absolutely so right. Yeah. Once he sets the price, and if 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 you got if you got um, what you call making fifty million, Rogers making fifty million, fifty million yeah. dollars. I yeah. mean, Lamar Jackson can easily get fifty two. If you want to say, if you really want to push it, you what's know, going on, AK? The only oh, that's a lot of money, buddy. Up, AK? I Happy I New know, Year, man. I don't know if you don't, you don't have to worry about Devontae Smith for another couple of years. You, yeah, you got three years with Devontae Smith. I just said it. That's why the Eagles <laughs> to me are kind of like the the Bengals because you know the Bengals got Burrow. That's another one too that's you know going to sit back and watch and and Burrow's you know guys getting paid. Exactly. So you got Burroughs. We we talk about that all the time. I want Tiger Higgins. But you got you got Chase Higgins, Boyd over there. Um, you got some of the key guys. Um, mixing. The, mixing. They're running back. You know, of course, Burrow. So. Hurts getting 50 mil. Yo, we're good, AK. What's good, AK? What's up? Lamar's not getting 60. He's not getting 60 mil. No way. Baltimore I would be full. Yeah, he might get more. 60 mil. I think he's going to be guaranteed three hundred million. No, Lamar Jackson is going to get three hundred sixty mil. I think he's going to get three hundred million guaranteed. He does that. Herbert's Lamar... another one. Herbert's another one that's going to look for a contract. Yeah, but if Lamar, see, first of all, we have to remember what is the salary cap because just because oh, you can yeah, say sixty one, million. Yeah. Because if the salary cap is two hundred, say it's two hundred and ten, so you give him sixty mm-hmm. million to one player. I mean, I could, I could, I could argue fifty. Uh. But the, the salary cap goes up, and I think they have to wait until like draft time for that to come up. Would be no point if up. we did this. I think it's going to come up like twenty, uh, twenty million. Mm-hmm. Okay. 420. <laughs> 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 no, random, random. Here's the problem with this. We already have Tyrod Taylor who signed for yeah. another year and he's guaranteed six or seven, like what, seven or eight mil. He's not going anywhere. And if you bring back Jones anywhere. on a long term, wait, hold on, hold on. Keep, you know, I don't know. 420 sounds good to me. I mm. like it a lot. Dismiss. <laughs> How can you not like Jim Carrey? Dude, I know that Dumb and Dumber is probably be the funniest movie Jim ever made. I mean, I okay. Yeah. Now I guess I'm dumb because I never thought it was hilarious. It was over. It gave me Snickers. Some people, do, some people don't like it. I do. Listen, I thought that was don't like it. just. It's not. It's not the Water Boy for me. It's just oh, that, that. That was crazy. <laughs> Yo, Mitch, ask Coach about your okay. your your uh. All right, Will Coach, Farrell. do you like Will Ferrell? Yeah, Will's fine. Thank you. You like Will He's Ferrell? fine. He's fine. He has his moments. He's funny and old I mean, school. I, Saturday I, Saturday Night Live. Think about Saturday Night Live and him and you know doing that dance and you know yeah. they, they, he has his moments. So, oh, you know, the Saturday Night Fever thing with him. I didn't really. I didn't really no, he would, he 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 was in Night Out at the Roxbury. Yeah, exactly. Where he did the hilt head. Yeah, Night at the yeah. Roxbury. Yeah, and he and he always would smash the window. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> it. 
He was he was all right in that basketball. What, what's that basket one? Ba- semi pro, um, Tropic Thunder. Yeah, oh, semi pro, semi pro. Yeah. He was all right. Yeah, yeah he no, was he was right. great. Old school, old tropic. school was old funny. School, he was yeah. great. Step Brothers, he was great. Town mm-hmm. Nigga Nice, he was great. Step I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, I mean, Anchorman look. that was on. He's not Adam Adam Sandler, though. He's just not Adam Sandler. Adam just has – he takes that goofiness to another level. You can shut that off, bitch. It's all right. (laughs) What? Because we already saw it. We already saw it. The best actor of all times. I think it's – I think it's – Nope. Y'all going to look at me like I'm crazy. I think Say it's it. in between Christian Bale nope. and uh, nope. Leo. Nope. Nope. Not Tom Hanks? Nope. Spencer Tracy. Sorry. Yeah, I'll go Spencer Shoot. Tracy and Betty Davis. Because, number one, when I look at movies like that and they they act, they have to give you the emotions. They don't use any graphic or anything else. They take the words and they emote those words and they put themselves into it. Spencer Tracy has always been, even Robert De Niro said it, um, um, uh, Burt Reynolds said it. They've all said it. They just love sitting down talking to him and just some of the simplest things that he would do and say to them and teach them as, as young actors coming up. So for me, it's Spencer Tracy. I'm old school. I, Who's I, I the watch other me. guy? Who was the other person you saw? So I said Betty Davis, Betty Davis for oh, me. Okay. So they, I'm going one male, one female. So I just look at all they've done throughout their careers and mm-hmm. all, all, what they've done throughout their careers and the, the level of movies. They're old school. I get it. They're from the golden age of movies. But if you sit and you watch and you and you just really just watch it, it just they just give you a different emotion. Now, if we're talking about today, um, I'm going to probably say either De Niro or Tom Hanks. No, nah, I can't do Tom Hanks. I, I like Christian Bale. He's, he's good. He's good. AK said, uh, I like Keanu Pacino. Reeves. Pacino's what there. Pacino, yes. Charlie Tom Chaplin Pacino. was good. Charlie Daniel Betty Day White, Lewis. too. Yeah. Where do we put Daniel Day Lewis? Because he deserves to be up there. <sighs> I never yes. watch a lot of his movies. I never really? Really? Like, uh, There Will Be Blood, Gangs of New York? Yeah, I know. I've seen some. I'm just... Yeah. I'm just. So it's like... It's Lincoln. hard. Gangs of New York was terrific. He can, he can do... Uh, I don't know. That's why I just think Christian Bale's more of a better all-around actor. Because he's been doing it since he was a child when he was in Empire True. of the Sun. He's True. like Leo, too. Yes. He did Batman. He's the best Batman. Mm-hmm. I still can't. There will never be a better Batman than Christian Bale. I'm sorry. Okay. No, That's I like Michael Keaton. If we're talking about Batman in the movies, all right. You think he was better than Michael Keaton? Bat, bat in, yeah. in the movies. Yeah, because it's 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 a hard. Oh, I grew up. I grew, yeah, I grew up. I grew up on Adam West. So yes. that to me is always Batman. It's just that's Batman to me. It's just. It's just that's who it is. It's, yes, but I'm talking about the movies. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. In the that's movies. a whole hey, different hey. Batman. Yes. No, so what's good? What's good? Well, Adam what's West. He's Talk about the movies. Original. No, no, I had to come in and make my case for Keanu Reeves real quick. No, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. That's like, a great uh, shoot. No, listen. I, you know, I thought long and hard about this today while I was gaming. You know, because we always have movie conversations on here, and I love doing it with you guys. Um. Dude, Keanu Reeves has set the new bar for acting, in my opinion. You know, uh, not not only, you know, you got his old school movies, you know, like Speed and, and Ted and Bill's Excellent Adventure. But, you know, you got The Matrix and, and not just that, but now you got um, um, John Wick. And, dude, the guy does all his fucking stunts. All of them. Yeah. Everything. Breaking point. Like... No lie, this dude could kill you with his bare hands right now in real life. <laughs> like he, he's trained to shoot. Like you've seen it all. I love he does the all his training. With Patrick for, Swayze too. Right, like he, he, everything he's done, bro, has just been 
fucking top notch, man. And, and well, he takes his acting serious and shit. What like, a I, catch. I, I, well, I mean, if you if you because you're including that, I mean, what about Wesley Snipes? Because you know Wesley Snipes does a lot of his stunts too, and he has no Wesley Snipes. Uh, exactly. I, I, Tom's overrated, bro. Okay. He does his own stuff. I love Tom Cruise. Listen, I love Tom Cruise, bro. I do, but you See, know I the dude's only like five. <laughs> you know the dude's only like five six. It's, <laughs> it's not a matter of that. It's not a matter of that. It's 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 the acting. I look older than me. Piano, piano, I piano. I put on the same level as Richard Gere. I mean, no, Richard Gere is awesome. No, uh, he has some really great movies. Like, bro, the number hard. one rated uh, actor here on IMBD is Nicholas, uh, Jack Nicholson. Oh, Jack Nicholson? Oh, Jack Nicholson? Yeah, no, you Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. He has three, uh, three Oscars. He's been nominated yeah, he for 12 Joker. Oscars was, total. The Joker, remember, in a what's your Shining. Wait, exactly. what about... Um, Shining. Uh, that movie Here's in Johnny. The, the Departed. You dirty rat. He was really mm -hmm. good in The Departed. See, oh, it's he's hard. Phenomenal with it's Departed. hard. Yeah, Denzel. I mean, we, we you can't forget Denzel, Sam. Marlon. I mean, Marlon. Oh Brando my God, Denzel Washington two. was so good. What was Bro, the with Training Day? Now. How could you not like he's Training like, Day? How training good that day. movie was. Oh my See, god! That's when why. Played, I, that's why I love this conversation. Bro. Watch it, when he played Frank it. Wright, when he played remember Frank the White, Titans. The you want to talk about a football movie? Twice. Exactly. Yeah, so know. it's like I gotta go with uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Deja vu. It's hard. Yo, it's hard. Wait, Denzel's done it more. Hard. Than... <laughs> that's Wait, why I love that conversation, man. Because there's so many good I ones. I mean, you're thinking about <laughs> Edward G. Robinson, <laughs> James. Hey, get comes and popping in. Yo, it's Sean Connery. Connery's good too. Yeah, Sean Connery, Sean yeah. Connery. Wow, yes. Yeah, I loved right him in The over. Rock. I loved him in The Rock. I did right? too. The Dude, Rock Sean and, Connery, and, and, and Nicolas shit. Cage too. Nicolas Cage was underrated as well as an well, actor. Yeah. He had some the damn Black good movies. Sean Connery, Black don't Treasure. forget, Sean Connery was also 007 too. We all loved yeah, him. Yes, he was. So it's like, yo, and he was, he, no, he he was the, uh, he, you guys he put was the rock up Indiana there. Jones. You guys put the rock up there for as many movies as he. I would done. say Gone in sixty seconds. Six, six seconds. Gone in sixty seconds. <laughs> <for the best. laughs> what movie you watch? Yeah. It, 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 is, is that the prologue to a porn or something, bro? <laughs> yeah, I gotta put you time out for that. I gotta put you time out for that, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no. Amazing Arizona. No. AK, AK, Jeff, don't Jeff. mind Mitch. He's, he's grumpy right now. Mitch is grumpy because Michigan lost. Oh, no lie, man. bro. Look at my Jeff, no oh, lie. You man. might have just had a million dollar <laughs> idea, bro. Run yeah, with that shit. Gone in 60 sex seconds. Like, run with that prologue. You, you can be a million. It would be called Gone in 69 Seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about yeah, going, exactly. going, in, go. going with the wind. Going with the wind. Card, the, oh, my gosh. Y'all really pulling me. Marlon me. Oh, yeah, dude, hey, here's Marlon one Brando. For you, going with the here's wind. one for you. Kevin Costner. Hoffman. Yeah, Kevin Costner. Mm -hmm. Shit. One of his favorite. I'm sorry. He's the bodyguard. Anthony Hopkins, Paul Newman. Oh, shit. oh Anthony Hopkins was great. Silence, that, of the, yeah. Silence of the Lambs Silence and Hannibal. Lambs, yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Lawrence Oliver. Hey, hey, you want to know a fun fact about that, bro? Do you know yeah. that Anthony Hopkins was not the original pick to play Hannibal Lecter? Really? Who was? was it? Yeah. Um, it, it was actually it was actually wrote for somebody else, and they actually denied the part. And Anthony Hopkins was the backup Yo, for it. It's so I swear to God, it's, it's so hard to sit here and choose an, an actor, an all time great for me. Like y'all giving me so Rocky. many. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many. You can't. You... There's too many good ones over the top. <laughs> really I, like, I like Michael. Look at Cam was another one. Look at me, guys. Everybody's talking about. Yo, dude, that's why I love movie talk, man. Because you mm -hmm. can go on forever, forever. Robert Duvall. See, and, and, oh, and no. do you do you do you do you also because technically a woman is an actor also because it's classified, even though we say actress. Yes. 
So yeah. do you include women in the classification of actors? No, no, I put them in yes. their own. Like, for instance, yes. I said Keanu oh, yes. Reeves is my male and my best female mm -hmm. of all time that I enjoy is Betty White. I think Betty White's See, goaded. Yeah, Betty is. Yeah, yeah Betty so White that, that's all. what I'm saying. It's like, yo, it's like I said, I can go old school and we can go yeah. new school. What's your job? Oh, fireworks by my house got now. Sandra Bullock, man. Sandra Bullock is a fucking goat, too. <laughs> I go with Meryl Streep. There's a really good one. I can't think of her name. Though. I can't think of her Julia name, though. There's a really yeah, good Julia actress. Roberts. Shit. Julie Roberts. Julia pretty Roberts woman. is another great I, I, one. I'm sorry. When I saw yeah. her in Pretty yeah. Woman, Pretty, woman? pretty yeah. woman. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I just, oh, my gosh. Julie so, Roberts, I was like, there's another one. Hey, 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 I got it. I'm going to bring the house down with this oh, one. Sigourney Street. Weaver. Meryl Streep. No, no. Now, Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. Was, and Meryl Streep. Sigourney, Sigourney was definitely tops, especially with Aliens, man. Yeah. Right? Oh gosh, Sigourney her, her, Weaver, bro. The <laughs> and then the ones that she was with the, Meryl with the gorillas. Meryl Streep was top of the, the brand. Meryl Streep. Yeah, and she, she's saying. also in Avatar. Sharon <laughs> Stone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't do that to me with Sharon Stone. What's that movie where she crossed her legs? It's like. Oh, oh like, basic, basic instinct. That movie. Basic yeah. instinct. Basic instinct. Basic you know, like, instinct. Like, yeah. With uh, Wayne Newton there? Or, well, yes. Wayne, what was it? Wayne Knight? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, y'all killing me, man. Y'all killing me. Oh my me, god, man. Elizabeth Taylor. Okay, you see where you started. You're gonna, you're gonna make coach you're gonna make coach put the basic instincts video movie back on tonight. Hey, 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 and don't forget you got Goldie Hawn too. Yeah. Look, man, I Goldie love Hawn was Hawn good. especially and Kate Hudson and her, her daughter. Do the yeah. Wildcat and Overboard? Yes. But Wildcat is always the best scene for me is when her husband walked in the bathroom and she's laying there butt naked. It's yep. like, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. So, yes. So, yeah. Nah, bro. It's, mm. Shit, man. What's Coach be enjoying thing? a lot of that beaver. Now I gotta go watch Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yo. Yo, look, <laughs> look. Nick, Nick Sirianni is a Scarlett Johansson fan. <laughs> Scarlett okay, Johansson's good when, too. I'm gonna mess. Ah, oh, yes. Go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yes. Hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Holly go Berry. Watch, go there you go. Gre go watch Pam Greer's in her movies back in the days. And when she gave you those sex scenes, or oh my gosh, Pam Grier was some fine. <laughs> yeah, Halle Berry was up there because when she was in Monsters Ball, that's the yeah, we loved her in Monsters Ball. We loved her in Monsters Ball. She was even good in 007. Hey, hey, Demi Moore. Uh, yes. uh, Demi Moore, too. Oh my yes. Yo, Demi see, Moore is great. You know who else was really good? Damon Wayans. I'm just talking about male. <laughs> Damon Wayans. It's well done. Get him up. Hey! <laughs> I go right to Damon Wayans of all people. <laughs> it's major, it's major pain. At random, I'm with you, bro. I like. I love movies from the 30s and the 40s. I just sit there and. Yeah, Gina Davis was. Gina Davis. Oh, mm -hmm. What's her name? Who was in Weird Science? What was her fucking name? Oh, that's my girl. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. What, what the hell is her name? Uh, Kelly LeBron. Yes. Yes, Kelly LeBron. Oh, my gosh. She is I did. So yeah, good. I did. I did do uh, it. You're welcome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, bro, you're basically I'm talking about women, and I bring in Damon Wayans. Yes, you, you got issues. I'm like, you're the only one that would come up with Dan Wayans when they're all talking about women. Look, man. I, like like I, said, I just popped, I just, I popped in major pain in my head. And I thought it was funny. Bro, I can just go. I can go old school. Carol Lombardo. I know that's before most of y'all, but if y'all watch her, it's just she's quirky, but she died young. Goldie um, Hawn. Yeah, Goldie Hawn. I mean, it's yeah. just like coming up, going into the Damn, 70s. Damn, bust up the middle for a first um, day. Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> yeah, oh, are we um, still on women? Or are we back to men? Uh, no, no, no. You, you, got hey, George Mitch, Mitch, you got George Clinton. Mitch, Mitch, where's your pause? Where's your pause? Because oh, I'm sorry, I was. I said, wasn't paying we, attention. He said, "Are we done with women? Or are we back on to men?" 
I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Man. Where are you going to get, nigga? I wasn't paying you attention. Know I you Brand know what I meant. You know what I meant. Yeah, I know. I'm messing with you. We go to women, we go back to men. Well, no, I was, I was thinking about yeah. George Clooney, man. George yeah, Clooney. George, George Clooney. Clooney. Yeah. So oh, you were, huh? I love, I love Marlene, Marlene Dietrich. I mean, you know, her man, starting so over in Germany so and then. Exactly. Throughout the years, you can go decades. And it's just, yeah, it's just wow. We could sit here and just. That's why, to me, all time. Wow, I mean, Courtney Cox. Judy yeah. Garland, yes. Judy I mean, Garland, yeah. I like Charlize Theron. I thought Charlize Theron was name? very underrated. What's his name? Any given Sunday when he did the coach's speech. What's his name? Um, any given. What's his name in the locker room when they any. I that Al was Pacino? Al Pacino. Bill Bellamy? Yeah. No, and when he said... Oh, it was Al Pacino. It was, yeah, Pacino was the coach. Inch by inch. The inch by inch. That's yeah, that was Al Pacino. That's, that, to me, is like one of the... That was one of the greatest movie segments that just captivated you. And yeah. literally, I swear Oh, yeah, one of the you, best sports moments. I just... Well, no, it's just that just the line. What I'm saying is the line. First of all, mm-hmm. him... Him relaying it. That's why I say with acting, just the way he re- disputed. Like, you felt he was a football coach. You felt yeah. it. And you wanted to go strap up your football equipment and go run through a brick wall for yeah, him. Yeah, you really you did. Were, yeah. You You're really like, all right, let's go. Did. I can do this. Ex- exactly. So it's just, yo, it's, man, it's just, we could just sit here and go on and on movies. You know, oh, man. I loved any I, given Sunday. I man, it's just oof. oh my god! Nothing just, beats no. the replacements, bro. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is with um Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. Yeah, that's the head coach. Reed, Gene Hackman. Yeah, I remember, um, yeah, no, I, know, I remember. I remember. Dustin yeah, yeah. Hoffman. But, yeah. I mean, you know, it was I, actually um, a good movie that Gene Hackman did. You know, it was actually a good movie that Gene Hackman did. The Quick and the Dead. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Hoosiers. The Quick and the Dead was underratedly good. Well, Hoosiers too, but Quick and the Dead was underrated with Sharon Stone and um, yeah, Stone. what do you call it? Russell yeah. Crowe? That was yeah. a yeah. damn underrated. Oh yeah, Russell Crowe. Oh my gosh! How really and so Leonardo DiCaprio, Gene Hackman, Sharon Stone, and Russell Leo. Crow. Yep, Leo. Not- that was an underrated, awesome Western movie. Western, well, sort movie, of Western yeah. movie. Yeah, sort of. So Mitch, check your comments. Yeah, my um, yeah, I saw it, Juice. I saw you laughing. Jessica Biel, Jessica Alba. You want to talk about Jessica's? Mm. Dude, Jessica mm-hmm. Biel or Jessica Alba can't Biel. fuck it. Well, the best Jessica. I love Jessica Biel, Biel though. No, Biel. Jessica Biel. Biel. Do you guys Biel. ever see um? What is Electra? it? Uh, no. What is it called? Uh, I know I pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Is it Carmen Electra? Yeah. I know yeah. I pronounce you Chuck yeah. and Larry. She was great yeah. in that. The best Jessica for me will always be Jessica. Oh, I know why you I'm think sorry. she was great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jessica I, I knew Rabbit you were going to go there, Coach. I knew <laughs> you were going there. Jessica Rabbit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I knew you were going there. Exactly. No, so Je- Je- a- Jessica Alba was good in that movie, yeah, no, Honey, and then she did that TV show years ago. I forget the name of it. Dark Angel or something. Mm. It's like her first acting mm. gig. She did Dark Angel or like a You know a why TV Honey show? was good, bro? Sarah Michelle Gellar. Sarah Michelle Gellar was another one, and then Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh my God, Jennifer Love Hewitt was awesome. Mm-hmm. Bro, let's just be honest. The only reason Honey was good is because Jessica Alba was really nice to look at. Yeah, that movie sucked. That was as bad as that was as bad as Glitter. Like, let's be honest. The only reason that movie was even a hit was because of Jessica Alba. <laughs> Wait a minute. How many of y'all were You're born not wrong. after? You're not wrong. How many yeah. of you guys were in here were born after '85? No, I was '88. You're, so you I was '85. Exactly. You're '85. Yeah. I'm, you're, I'm okay. the oldest one in here, other than you and uh, halftime. Okay, so never mind. So you guys. No, I'm the youngest. Older than you, AK. I'm older mm-hmm. than you by a couple of years, AK. No, because I would have said yeah. Ingram. What about Angry Birdman? How many? Yeah, he said 85. Congratulations. You shocked yeah. me too, AK. I thought you knew this I was this born 85. Too. Well, congratulations then. That's yeah, awesome. I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 38 in uh, less than a Doesn't month. Doesn't he have a baby face, man? You're 38. I know. 
Yeah. I got a baby face. I thought he was in his late 20s. Shit, right? I'll be 56 Thank in you. February. Come on, Jeff. You were still a baby, man. Hmm. Yeah, I was in, I was in high baby. school. I was graduating oh! high school. When you were born. Oh, what a sack. Let's go, oh. Georgia. What a sack, baby. I'm about to see it. I'm about to see it. I'm about to see it. Oh, that's the player oh, just like let him go and nail his quarterback. Random, I'm with you there, bro. I listen to all eras of music. Like I even, I even dabble with Motown, bro. What the hell like, is the time I'm doing? That was but bad coverage right watch. there. I cannot watch black and white movies. You got me there, bro. Oh, that, really? That's way too far for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, what about that movie? Um, what is you it know, called? Like Three Stooges. Um, well, no, 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 no. I love wait. Three Stooges. That might AK, be the um, only black and white one I like. It was uh, <laughs> Young. Fr- wait, AK, right. Young Frankenstein. Nope. Never that watched it. That was good too. Casablanca. I've never great. saw Casablanca. Yeah. Yes. Nope. Uh, I've yes. seen it. Wow. That was a good oh, movie. damn, I even forgot about Humphrey Bogart as far as one of the top dank actors. Mm-hmm. Damn, but you didn't... Wow. All right, all right, Come on, you guys all didn't love it. the movie Mars Attacks? Oh, I love hey, that real movie. Quick, real quick, I, I I wanna get, <laughs> I hey, real quick. Hey, real quick, I want to get your guys' top five actors. Your personal top five. Oh, there are too, too many. Oh, you no, got a personal on, top five. Down. There isn't too no. many. You have five people. No, I really don't, AK. No, AK, li- listen to me. Listen to me, bro. Like, like if I went to my storage locker right now and pulled out just the movies that I have in there, like most, some of y'all knew about the old blockbuster movies. I have enough movies just myself alone, not including my kids, not including my first wife, God rest her soul. All the movies we have in there, we have probably three, four thousand video videos. That's that's VHS and CDs, bro. Well, and I is, understand what you're saying, Coach. But hard. what I'm saying is, when you walk up to that wall, usually in your random. mind, you you, you have mm-hmm. yes, it mm-hmm. is random. But usually, when I walk up to mine, because I'm like you, I don't have that many, but I got a lot. I do, but mm-hmm. I usually have certain actors that I like to watch more than others. You know what I'm saying? I, I do. I, no, I, I won't be on. I that's that. what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. Like, who's that? Who? When you walk to your wall, who's the first five that you're looking at? Man, I don't I like Van Damme like as well. Uh, put it like this. Put it like this. It depends on my mood. Do am I in the mood for an up to date movie? Am I trying to go back to the forties and fifties? If I'm going back to the forties and fifties or thirties, am I looking for a gangster movie, a World War II movie? Am I looking for a black exploitation? Am I looking for comedy? Am am I looking for horror? I mean, it, it's hard for me because it depends That's on my it. mood. It's my mood. That's really what it depends. I can't just say, okay, I'm looking for a movie. I'm going to go to my list. No, I'm going to look at everything and make a decision. And then whatever I want to look at at that point in time, you, if you say you have a top five, I respect that. No problem. That's not a problem. No, no, I understand. I I just know like when I go up to it, I I just, I I tend to gravitate towards my favorites more than the ones like there. There's movies that I have. I might've only watched twice in my life. There's movies I have. I've only watched once, but then there's ones I've watched 15 times. Then there's ones I watched 10 because you know what I mean? I got you. So that's what I was meaning. Okay. Put it like, put it like this. Okay. If if we, if we're going to go like that. Okay. Then it's a TV show for me. I can watch this TV show all day, every day, each and every day. It's a different world. I can watch a different world all day, every day, because I love all those characters, I love the storylines or whatever. But now if you go into my DVR right now and look at it, I'm telling you, I got movies from the 30s, the 40s, the 60s, the 70s. I mean, I got so much in there. And then when I go into my streaming services, it's the same thing. So I just go through and I'm like, well, what am I in the mood for? Am I in the mood for romance? Am I in the mood for, you know, action? What am I? Am I just yeah, want? It's so hard. It's hard for me yeah. to sit here and pick a top five. I, I just can't because we were just sitting here going through it. And I'm like, <laughs> man, I'm like, you know, popping. I'm like, oh, damn, I didn't even include Humphrey Bogart. Can I show I you this. what I think is one of the best actors of all time? Oh, God. Go it's uh, actually a Canadian actor from Trailer Park Boys. 
uh, Jim Le- Jim Leahy. I <laughs> Wait, one of what? the best actors of all time, dude. That guy, it, it, just the way how he acted drunk and wasn't drunk on that set, and the way he carried himself in Trailer Park Boys was probably the all time best actor. There's, a, there's an actor that did that years ago. His thing was like Far or something, where he always acted drunk, but he was never drunk. It was like part of his character. I know who you're talking coach, about. Coach, coach, you might have an idea who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. He used to be, he used to do like the roasts a lot with, um, Dean Martin and uh, Frank Sinatra and then talking about and, Jerry Jerry Lewis. No, no, it wasn't Jerry Lewis. He had like a scruffy beard, white hair. He like talked like he's drunk. It was part of his gimmick. But you said Jer- uh, Dean Martin. He was part of the roasts a lot. A lot of those old school. He was part of the know, Rat Pack. You're talking about he was part of the Rat Pack, right? No, he was not. He wasn't part of the Rat Pack. He was friends with the Rat Pack. Not Sammy Davis or Dean Martin no, or Jerry no, Lewis I mean, or Frank Sinatra. Me, I can, yeah, I can get there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. I'll, I'll let you, I'll tell you in a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Uh, yeah, me too. Now you got. Yeah, you gotta looking. check me out. Check. Te- let Let me know because I think I know who you're talking about. But AK, I get where you're going, bro. I do, and for me, it's hard. It really is. I just. Yeah, it's how hard. It. I just. Is it male? Is it female? What am I? Uh, again, it's. I can't just. Oh, it doesn't. It don't matter. I, like I said, my my five would be Robin Williams is my number one. My number two is Adam Sandler. My number three is Chris Farley. My number four is Jim Carrey. And my number five, and my number five is Nicolas Cage. Yo, I, lo- I definitely love Chris like, Farley. Yeah, I know Farley's yeah. great. Yeah, so show, so I mean that that's like a five. That's just five of my favorite. It doesn't have to be like your. It doesn't have to be stuck in stone. You know. All right, I'll give you, you my say, top five. You say I'll five my... favorites. See, if you just say just pick five, but you say yeah, five you favorites. Five. Like, well, and when I what I meant by favorites is it's the ones that you lean more towards on watching. That's, like, that's you know, I, like, I can give you five right now. Leo, number one, number two, Daniel Day Lewis, number three, Christian Bale, number four, Foster Brooks, Hanks, and Foster number five. Brooks. That I'm was his name. With, I'm going with uh, Mike Myers. I don't know if Ooh, you remember Mike him, Myers, Coach. Okay. Foster Brooks. I'm looking him up name. now. Yeah, I'm looking. He used him to up always too. appear drunk, but it was like part of his gimmick. Like he'd come all the time on, like do jokes, but, like he pretending he was like blissed out of his mind. Yeah, I know who you're yeah. talking about. Yes, I know who he Austin is. Austin Brooks. I never knew his name. I Foster never knew Brooks. his name, though. I never knew his name, but I knew who you're talking about now. I remember for the Jackie Gleason roast. Mm-hmm. Hey, dude, that's a good one, man. Bill Murray is another great one. Yeah, yeah. Jackie Gleason is definitely one too. Shit. Yeah, and, Danny um, DeVito. Yeah, Danny, I DeVito. Danny DeVito. I loved him, especially. Loved oh him. my gosh, he just. Oh, he was the Penguin. Oh, oh shit! I was the hey, penguin. Help me out here, real quick. Who was who was the guy um from My Giant? My Have you guys Giants? watched that movie? Yeah. No, uh, just it was called My Giant. It, it had the like the seven foot tall. Billy Crystal. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. He's Robin, he was oh, best friend of Robin Williams. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Billy Crystal. <laughs> that was with Andre the Giant and Billy Crystal. Yeah. Okay, I got yeah. an actor. Since you just brought that up, whatever happened to John Lovitz? I love John Lovitz. He's John so Lovitz awkward. is so underrated actor. <laughs> he's so he did... awkward and he's funny. He's Dude, do you remember him on man. Rat Race where he went into the Nazi museum and he's like ended up stealing Hitler's car in Rat Race? What? Oh mm-hmm. You don't yeah, ever no, seen Rat Race with that. Whoopi Goldberg? Oh, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, he was awkward. He's awkward. Yeah, he's he's just, awkwardly funny. He's the funniest funny. movies I've ever seen in my uh, life. Robin Williams was on another level of funny. That guy, that Robin Williams was a genius of comedy. Was yeah. it? Oh, Rowan Atkins was in it. And Rowan Atkins Pete. Sim was wonderful, too. Robin oh, Williams. Cuba uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. was in it. Amy yeah. Smart and Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, if you haven't seen Rat Race... Definitely oh, that check that awesome. out. Um, that was the funniest movie. Smash Mouth was at the end of the movie. <laughs> He's weird, random. He's corny. What, what, That's uh, why it's like interesting. Do you guys at least have a a favorite gangster movie? Gangster oh, always gonna be Goodfellas. Yeah. Uh, Goodfellas Ooh. is up there. Godfather. Godfather. That's my favorite. One or well, two doesn't matter where. No, I, I I I get that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say mine, and I watch it. And my wife fucking hates it, but I watch it all the time. Bronx Tale. No, Bronx Tale is a great one. one too. No, I, I, I love that one, bro. That is like my all-time classic. 
I don't know why. Mm. But it, if you're going to go <laughs> gang movie, I'm going to go with The Warriors then, because that's my all-time Warriors. favorite movie. Warriors. Yeah. That was the way they filmed that, and it was all filmed in New York. Oh, yeah. so you want to go there? Warriors. Scarface is good, too. Yeah. I was like, that, that movie, The Warriors, is a time capsule movie. It's not it's just a movie. It shows New York <laughs> City at night the way it should be in the 70s when it was ghetto eager, feedy, and seedy. Mm-hmm. Not like the way it is now where it's like Disney World. The way I grew up with it, yes, exactly. Yeah, That's it was like the I true grew. grit of New York and it showed it. And there was never going to be, there was really no movie like it, especially at the nighttime. The way they captured the okay, night. There you go. There you go. There you, there you go. Forever. That was a good one. Man. Yeah, dude. When they beat the shit out of those baseball furies in the park, yeah, that, that was one of the best fight scenes ever. Yes. What yes. was the movie with the greasers? They had a book outsiders. Fight. Yeah, yeah, outside. yeah, that was a, that a lot movie, of people. You know. that a Dude, I watched, like, I, I watched that shit in female. high school, That's bro. Tom Cruise, uh, Emilio Estevez. Yeah. That had uh, okay. I had a lot of people in that in that film. Uh, who's the one that played Dally? The one that died at the end. You know, the one that died on the hill. Uh, Wasn't Patrick Swayze right, one of them? I can't no, remember his name. Kid. I. No, it wasn't. It wasn't him. It was another guy. He's a popular actor. He's a comedian, sort Matt of. Dylan? Matt Dillon, that's it. Yeah, he was okay. in that too. See, no, 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 just, yeah, what, what happened to Matt that. Dillon? He was a great actor. That's another. I mean, he was movie great. He was great in something about Mary. It, it just right. disappeared. Here, here you go. Here you go, AK. I'm gonna give you two. What's up? The first one is from 1931, Little Caesar, with Edward G. Robinson. Okay. And the other one is um, Denzel Washington and American Gangster. I was waiting for someone to say American Gangster. I was underrated. <laughs> I was underrated. Yeah, yeah that is playing a Frank movie. Lucas. Yes, I mean it's just because he played that character to the T. He played him to the T. So yes. Yeah, so I Coach, mean, you talk what was the name of the? What was the name of the one that uh, Denzel Washington did with Morgan Freeman? What was what was the name? It was like a war movie, I think, with him and Met and Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington. It was years and war years movie. ago they did together. I don't recall them doing a war movie. Well, I, forget, oh, I, I might have not been that. Glory. Glory. Oh, glory. glory. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. You're right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Yes. The one with Brad Pitt? It's, it's, it's a 1989 Civil War movie. Yeah, about the main not, 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 no, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. Brad, is it Brad Pitt? What's his name? No, Brad the other, Pitt was in the new one. Matt, Matt, Matthew, Matthew Broderick. Broderick. Matthew, Matthew Broderick. He was yes, his Matthew name. Broderick. Let's just oh, be Matthew real. Broderick. Anytime you think of Brad Pitt, come on. It's the first movie that comes to your head when you think of Brad Pitt is Fight Club. It's Fight, Fight Club all the time with me when I think of Brad Pitt. Uh, no, Edward I, I Norton, get you. I Edward get you Norton on and, that. And Brad Pitt. Ocean's no, I, Eleven. That, that is definitely one of my classics, bro. But Ocean's when I think of Brad Pitt, I, I think of uh, Ocean's... Troy, honestly. Oh, Troy. Troy's yeah, Troy. Yeah. All the girls love Troy. That's all they talked about in school. Have you seen Troy? It, well, Dude, Ocean's I, I, too. I, Ocean's was huge. Because they all were into Orlando Bloom. It was like a debate between Orlando Bloom and, um, what was it, Brad Pitt. <laughs> I, just, I just like... You know, or Hercules and the uh, Greek um, mythology. Greek mythology, yeah. yeah so I that, that's that. why I follow that. Yeah. Yeah, I see him here. So do you? Uh, oh no, you didn't watch a lot of old. Never mind. Let me shut up. If you could, you're talking about Greek mythology. Interview with a vampire. Yes. Oh yes. yeah, I watched an interview with a vampire. Anything yes. with that was an awesome I, movie. I actually read the book before I saw the movie. So and it's. It's whoa! It's totally different, but you, for the most part, the 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 it's it's almost there. But you see a lot of the differences with the book in comparison to the movie. So, mm-hmm. and I lo- I love doing that sometimes when I can get a book mm-hmm. and then read it and then go see the movie because that's what I like to do is just try to see where they changed it, you know, from the writing or in in some of the context. You know, yeah. so it, that's that's just so cool. If you want a, a good book to read oh, wow. that's completely different he from the movie, that. read uh, Forrest Gump. Oh, he just Did got he catch that? Did Look he catch that? Is that Marvin Harrison that just got knocked the hell out? Yeah, he got knocked out, though. He's done. He oh, got man. That was, he he got got a, yeah, Marvin Harrison just took a vicious shot. I think he caught that, though. 
Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I can't always. I can't agree really a lot with that. I mean, listen. I'm a huge Lord of the yeah. Rings fan. It's called targeting. You know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, and their fucking books are great. Don't get me wrong, but holy fuck, the movies are awesome. Oh, dude, you how can you go wrong with the He's Lord of the house. Rings or the my Harry wife, Potter movies? Wife, They're I fantastic. Yeah. Those books all the yeah. Time. They're fantastic. And same, I'm not even comparing, you know, Forrest Gump's great, too. I'm just yeah, saying, originally, it was supposed to be down. John Goodman instead of Tom anyway. Hanks. John Goodman turned mm-hmm. down Forrest yeah, he, Gump. He's hurt, And man. did you know they were supposed to go into space? Actually, Forrest Gump was supposed to go into space with a monkey mm. called Pogo. <laughs> he wow. was an experiment. They couldn't they couldn't have it in the budget, so they decided to cop it out of the movie completely. So they never got with NASA and they never went to space. But it was actually in the original script of the movie. They were gonna have Tom Hanks go to space and actually have him go in a rocket sponsored by NASA and go up into space. First off, uh, how the fuck was John Goodman gonna be in the book, uh, it's more portrayed like a John Goodman type as Forrest Gump, and but John Goodman turned it down, so we'll never know. He was doing another movie at the time. I can't remember what exactly, but he decided he didn't want to do Forrest Gump. Tom Hanks decided he wanted to, and the rest is history. You know who's an underrated yeah. actor, and I don't even know why I'm saying his name, but what the hell? He was like a good villain in a lot of movies. Gary Busey. Yeah. 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 Gary Busey day. was a great oh. villain. What's that the, movie the where he was with Patrick Swayze and they robbed the bank with uh, Keanu Reeves? It, Point and break. it was a surfing movie. Point Break. Point Break. Point Break, mm-hmm. Point yeah. break with, yeah. And Lethal he Weapon 1. Also, mm-hmm. Wesley Snipes yeah. in him and Drop Zone. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen Drop Wesley Zone? Snipes. That was an underrated one. Uh-huh. Wesley Snipes was one of the best actors And uh, Under Siege. Look. You ever seen him on Look. Under Siege with um, yeah, that, uh, Seagal who's the girl? And Tommy she Lee Jones? Hot. Under siege, the girl was hot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 you better look, be careful. Look, 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 right look, 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 look. Y'all want to talk Listen, about Wesley Snipes? My wife knows me. U.S. Marshals. <laughs> no, with Wesley Snipes, why he's such a great actor? Because of all the different roles he played. I mean, the fighting, because he was playing, uh, what's him called, as the Blade. vampire. Blade. Blade. But then don't forget Tu Wang Fu. That's underrated because for him to play that role, that's a lot of pressure for him, Patrick Swayze, and John Leguizamo. Most cats don't want to watch it because they're playing drag. But for them to play that role and Mm -hmm. to nail it, that just shows the depth of his acting technique and talent because he can go from that to you know blade or anything else um what is it 16 is it 1600 or whatever whatever the is it 3500 whatever the where he was uh in the presidency or whatever but the the point also is, u.s marshals how good he US was in Marshall, that too. exactly so you know like i said earlier wildcats where he's playing you know a little running back goofy running back is just yep. his that's why i say with t- acting it's hard for me to sit here and just pick one i just appreciate everything they do because if you can do so many different things that just enhances your skills oh well that, that. that's why that's why i've always been behind robin williams man because he he's had his moments where he makes you laugh and then he's had his moments where he makes you cry yeah is it, is it bad that is it bad is it bad that I, whenever i think of uh john leguizama i always think of the clown in spawn no because uh, that's I mean, he played a great, great, great role there. Uh, that really was that did. was underrated too. I like Spawn. Yo, they didn't Half give time, him time. I love your wife, man. She's awesome. Uh, I yeah, love the Harry po- the Harry Potter books too. But you're you're, really a, you're a stronger woman than me because I couldn't read them four times over. I can't read that much. Dude, the coach, I should have been targeting. That should be hey, targeting. That's what you just said. I'm like, yo, that's not targeting. She'll probably go on tonight and start reading those books. Bro, I haven't have, read in like ten years, bro. Okay, she'll have, look, bro. She'll have those, she'll at least have two books done <laughs> look, tonight. Look, bro, I just finished reading um The Art of War by Sun Tzu. I just love stuff like that. I mean, it's just it's different books. I'm I, I minored in history in school when I should have majored in it because I just love taking different historical books, reading it and studying it, you know, from different eras, going all the way back philosophy i mean i get it a lot of people don't like to read i grew up 
in an era where you read more than anything. I had parents who grabbed the belt if you wasn't sitting down reading, you know, at least an hour a day after you did all your schoolwork. So I get it. You know, you don't like to read. You're in a day and age where and a lot of people are visual. So you want to see the action and you want to see it. And where I want to read it and use my mind to create it in my head. And then that's why I say going to the movie and seeing the movie, then it changes it and changes the context and makes it something different. And it's like you're reading two different books. So I respect it. I respect what you're saying. You don't like to read it. OK, cool. I oh, no, it. no. I, I said I like to read. I just can't read long no, books. I, I and I, I, not I just that, but with kids at six and five and working and stuff, I, I just don't have time to read anymore. That, that'll be a retirement <laughs> thing. Yeah, I don't need to my reading oh, when I retire. Uh, I actually <laughs> have to. I, guess I actually right. have to go. There's something I. There's something I got to do. I need to help oh. my parents or something. Oh, okay. right, like, I got you, man. Uh, yeah. Hey, well, have a happy New Year, man. Yeah. Happy New Year. AK, I'll go see you on. Yeah. <laughs> AK, I'll see you on the stream tomorrow. All right, buddy. Yeah. Have a good one. See you guys. Have a good night, man. You know what I used to do, AK? To reading. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I used to do, AK? Because, I mean, I was a single dad. So um, I used to read to my kids that they love to read now. So, and my oldest is 34, and my youngest is 23. And they'll sit down and they'll read a book, and my oldest will read to my granddaughter. So, but I get it. I understand. You know, you know, when you're six and five, yeah, you're right. They ain't trying to always sit around and listen. They want to get up and run. They want to play the video games. <laughs> they really do, man. So, yes, do. It, it, so I get it. You know, there are times with my granddaughter. She's seven. You know, sometimes it's just like, you know, Papa, can I just play my iPad? And, you know, so it's just like, all right. But then she'll come up. Like her and my oldest, they wrote a um, they wrote a book for me. So it's a little cartoon book, but and it's about she and I. So it's like, you know, I get it. That's cool. So, yeah. And that, no, that's dude, I can't wait for retirement where I can sit on my porch on my swing and just sit there mm-hmm. and read. Exactly. So <laughs> I, I, get swing. I get it. Look at this. We're on. We're on. We're on Streamyard. We're doing YouTube. I get it. People are visual because it's easier to see and process and go along, and you're multitasking. Shoot. Mm-hmm. What am I doing now? I'm sitting here multitasking. Do y'all know that half the times I'm watching this, I'm watching the TV, and I'm breaking down film at the same time. Yep. And then I'm go doing stuff for draft purposes. So I get it, bro. I get it. I, mean, like, I guess I could be reading right now, but where's no, but the fun I, of that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> where's the fun of that? So. I don't even wrote a book, AK. Right? I, I'd rather be on here bullshit with y'all. <laughs> no, I, I get it. And, that, and that, that's cool. And, and you know, hey, you, you guys don't know the shit. Doing this shit. Books? God damn. Yeah, she's yeah. crazy, dude. Fucking no. Miss Speed Reader over there, Jesus! Yeah, yeah she a uh, hundred books. How many books is that a month? Do you go through a hundred books a year? What my I don't know. Yeah, that's my a, youngest daughter can read two. Tonight. Yeah, my youngest daughter can read two to three books in a, in a day, easy. Yeah, yeah, but dude, it's not like you can read the Harry Potter books that fucking fast. They're like four hundred pages. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, you can. No, yes, you can. Well, I guess, I guess you can. Well, some people read over a hundred pages. Maybe a day. I just read slow. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> no, no, it's it's you're you're right. You know, some people read slow because it's also their processing ability, and you exactly. dissect in the word. Some people can. I can speed read. But then sometimes I have to go back and reread sometimes something again because I might have missed the context of it. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's how do you process the information? So, it, 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 I, man, you don't understand the levels I used to substitute <laughs> teach, and I learned that quick. It's like yo, some kids read faster than others, so you just gotta learn and appreciate that. And I respect it. It, you know, look, some people like to take their time and enjoy it. It's like sitting down, having a good cup of coffee or tea. Sometimes you just want to sit, sip, enjoy, and, and get the flavor. Sometimes people just want to guzzle it. I'm a, I'm a beer person. I want to guzzle the beer. While other people are like, nah, bro, sit and chill, relax. Nah, I want to guzzle it. So I, I sip until I'm drunk, then I guzzle. 
<laughs> see? see, there you go. I go first and I'll take my time. <laughs> see, see, it's like running long distances, bro. You got to ease yourself into it. And then you yeah, go. Yeah, I know ease myself. Yo, bro, bro, I'm a big fat guy. What do I know about running long distance marathons? Man, hell. No. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> well, well, no, it's just to me, no, that's I, just common knowledge. Like, no, you don't want to, you don't want to bust yourself Thank right you, out the gate because then you, your whole night's blown. Like, you ease into do. it, then you go. <laughs> no, yeah, that's you. I you you don't want to be that guy puking at eleven o'clock at night, fucking your friends' shit up. <laughs> that's the one thing. Don't be me. <laughs> I've never, I've never done that. It's all the liquor I've drunk in my life, hell, I even drank gasoline. I just, I never what puked. The? That's yeah, crazy. We were hey, having thank a drinking. So. See, thank you. I'm not the only person now. That, like people look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, yo, I'm not. No, saying dude, I had I, a, I, no like, listen. I've drunk. I've drank gasoline, but that was because I was trying to siphon gas out my fucking car, and oh, it came God. way I, too fast. Well, I drank diesel fuel. <laughs> I didn't I took a, took a, a <laughs> cup, a little cup, and they filled it to this much, and I said, "Cheers!" And I went. Now, did I get get like oh, afterwards? Hell yes. Was, oh, yeah, was my throat well. burning? And that's why with liquor, even hard liquor, it doesn't burn my chest like everyone else says it burns. And I, I think somebody used to drink rubbing alcohol. Yes. Holy crap. Yes. What's up, yes. Vic? But but hey, hey I, I, like, I love. I love moonshine. Come on, man. Get some. Get, oh, get yeah. Corn. Moonshine's amazing, bro. Yeah, I exactly. fucking love that. Moonshine's mm. really good. I like moonshine. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like, mm, so I get mm. you. I get you. But I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the one that'll guzzle it. You know, I don't care. 2020 Mad Dog, Cisco back in the day. Mm. I would pop a 40, drink a, a guzzle of 40 a beer just like that. Um, I used to drink kegs back in college. I used to say, yo, y'all get y'all a keg because this keg is for me. Y'all ain't getting none of this. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm so, staying and buy it. Exactly. Yeah, I you know, know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. So I get you. Some people, you got to run I'm and dive you, into man. it. And some gotta take their time and enjoy. And what did John? What's what's his name? John? Uh, what's his name? You gotta marinate. Is that, is that what you said? <laughs> John, John Williams. John, yeah, what's his name? John Williams from um from um Fridays. What's his name? God rest his soul. You like yeah, let it marinate. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> That's you, AK. You wanna let it marinate? You wanna enjoy it? Yeah, I'm slamming them. <laughs> exactly. I'm going slam, slam, <laughs> slam, 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 slam. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Throw them down, let them go. Whatever happens, happens. Thank yeah, God I ain't never. Me. And like, then I don't want those like, things marinated at all. You, you just want to pound them down one by one. You're, some beer, you're gonna get messed up. Yeah, exactly. So you might as well it, just pound it down, and like, unless you really enjoy the beer, most of the, the time faster, you just want to pound the faster that, down quickly. The faster that buzz comes, the faster it goes away, and the faster you can get on to the next batch. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. That that's right. me. I get it. That's what I get. I get it. I get it. AK, I can respect that. You know, you're you you're like my pops. My pops used to be like that when he drank. So well, there's there's reasons for that because I, I've always shot pool. Uh, I've been a pool mm, person for a long time. There you go. So, so no, whenever I, I love that. Well, see, so whenever I drink, I, I get I get a lot worse when I am fully drunk. So I, I try to stay sober I'm as not, long as possible. I'm not so oh, he's a nasty bad. drunk. I'm not even gonna touch no, that. No, 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 no. I'm saying I suck at pool when I'm drunk. Oh, My no, 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 I don't no. drink so fast. I'm just not no, touching Nick's all pool. day. <laughs> Whatever Nick's all day is saying, I just don't want to touch that. Action. I'll handle that. Mm hmm. Back mm -hmm. shot. Mm hmm. Back shot. Y'all don't know what a back shot is? Seriously? I know what a belly shot is. Okay, well, you flip it over. Flip Obviously, over. you flip it over and it's on the flip back. Flip it over, exactly. So that's why I'm like, okay, you can call it that too. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so what I think about that. That's what I yeah. first think about. Yeah, so it's like, okay, oh. bro. Well, I, I don't know why you're giving us that, but okay. Okay. When you think about back, that's the first thing you think about. I wasn't really thinking about it. I'm like, uh, 
He's a married man. Give him a yeah, break. What the hell? What you <laughs> what's, so what's my Mary got to do with anything? I've never done a back side. I was busting his balls. <laughs> I've never done a back side. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Y'all got ladies in here. I just realized that. Oops. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. Ladies, including uh, Mrs. Halftime. <laughs> 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 I didn't catch that. Oh, man. Miss, Mrs. Halftime's going to have a nice little talk with me. <laughs> it's the locker room. She shakes her head. She goes, can't you just play nice? Yo, it's like the locker room. The men's locker room. I'm like, okay. That, that's man. all it is, buddy. She's all right. <laughs> okay. She's good. No, as long as she's cool, <laughs> she I, she we just be us. There ain't nothing that she ain't in there she her. Hey, then you know what she she like she like my best friend like Tammy is like that she she can talk go for it, blow for blow and her husband who's also an Eagles fan oh, but you know an we, Eagles fan they just they, yeah we have those conversations and we just go at it it just you know it's funny is 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 we say it's the locker room talk as long as you can handle it yo let's go so if she can yeah, handle it. Okay. Yeah, she can handle it. She listen. I ain't changed for nobody. You too. She's married to halftime. She's able to handle it. Trust me. Oh yeah. Exactly. (laughs) Cool. (laughs) There you go. I'll tell you that. I'm surprised James told you. You ain't got nothing yet. Right. (laughs) Let it out of hand. Oh. Okay. Okay. What's the score? What's the score? Uh, it's thirty-eight twenty-four. Me first down. That's a first down. Well, you guys have a great night. I'm going to go and hang out with the wife a little bit. No problem, bro. Have a happy New Year's, man. Happy New Year, AK. Happy New Year, AK. Stay safe. Yes, sir. We'll do. Be a good boy. Drink a few, AK. What's that? (laughs) Drink a few. (laughs) No, man. I don't drink. 20 years of handling him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's great. All right, All right man. Be safe. Beats out, man. Take it easy, AK. Okay? Oh, shit. I'm man, glad this I came game, on the I don't this think is Georgia's going to be able to come back. No, it, depends, it depends on what they do right now. I mean, is yeah, it, that really it does. Chance. It ain't like it, it's over. Exactly. There's still plenty of time. They're only down by two touchdowns. Yeah. They're about to get scored right now. That defense is going to find a way to stop that Ohio State offense. That, that's, that's the right. issue. That, that's the, the whole issue is the that's defense. Right. It, Was Marvin awesome. Harrison out? Is he done? I, I think I he is. Oh, if he's done, that's everything. a big weapon out of that Ohio State. That, that's their we- biggest weapon out of the game. Touchdowns. He scored three touchdowns in this game. Is that a lateral? You must be ahead of us, Coach. Oh, sorry. That's no, okay. It's all good. No, that should be an incomplete pass. No, that's an incomplete oh, pass. what are you doing? Oh my God! Stenson Bennett is throwing some shit balls tonight. He had a wide yeah, really? open. That's the really? second time he's underthrown his receiver. Is that a lot? That was McConkey, I, I think. Yeah. It starts at the. Oh, that is a lateral. That is a lateral. That should be a fumble. Yeah, yeah, it's a lateral. Okay. Oh, it is a lateral. Uh, what are we playing? Yeah, they, they mark it. They mark it. So they're in quarters. They're in quarters. Wow. Jeez. Third and goal now. Stenson they had, Bennett's they ran, nothing good. They ran a quarters with a with a with a with a robber underneath that. So wow, that's good. That's uh, good. Oh, good defense by Ohio State. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the the backside quarters came off. All right. Wow. Hey, that hurts right there. That good that hurts right there. That's a bad job by Stenson Bennett. Yeah, the kid he had to walk in. He was gonna walk in the end zone and he underthrew him. I will say the teams that we most of us thought would be going into the finals, mm. Mm. 
They in the fight of their lives. I did. I called Ohio State. Yeah, you did. I'm say, Coach, I'm going to say you said it too, so. No, I did. I said and then I we did. took it back. I don't know no, why you I took said, it back. I, no, I said I just had a feeling because of the first game. Right. Remember the first game? I didn't think Michigan would lose like that, and right. it just did told I? me. You Maybe we underrated that. TCU. We underrated yeah. how good TCU really is. Well, well of course, because we we with, with Kansas State, with them losing to Kansas State, that's why it was just like, oh. So is it going to be TCU and Ohio State? Or yeah, Georgia? it might be. Looks like it. It, it looks like it's going to be TCU and Ohio State. And that's going to be, to me, it's probably going to be more of an offensive game. You know, yeah. Now, you know, but now can, can Ohio State – play some defense like they're playing today because TCU did – well, they didn't really play good defense, not in the second no. half. So, no. you know, the first half – and they, they used turnovers because it was what? Two pick sixes and the fumble at the one-yard line that they stopped them right. from scoring. So, you know, if you really take those points away, then – And they turned it over a lot too. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's it's going to be interesting. You know, a week from Monday. It definitely is. So I can't wait. I can't wait. Call me crazy. I'm picking TCU. I think TCU well, is going to hold that trophy up. I think it's going to be a Ohio State. I will say this. All right. If it is TCU, that is big, for not just for college football, but for the Big 12. And that, to be brutally honest for you, to you, that might be bad for – um the Pac-12 going forward because don't forget, don't forget the big 12 wants, they want Colorado, Utah, and both the Arizona schools in the Pac-12 in the big 12. And if they can secure them and get them, that not only destroys the Pac-12, but I think it also pushes um, Washington and, and Oregon. If the opportunity is there over to the big 10. And it's just going to keep changing the whole dynamic. And then that might also work something for Clemson because you'll start seeing a lot more realignment again, yeah. especially if, if TCU can win this because they will say, I, we have a national championship on our belt. And this – Rich had something to do. That's gonna be that's gonna be something to see, though, Coach. I actually want to see TCU that. win. I love Look, to see TCU that. win. I want to see. I want to see. To be honest with you, I do want to see Clemson or either Florida State or Miami leave to go over to the SEC. I really do. I can't lie to you. It's hard because of their their buyout. Um, I think they got to pay fifty million dollars. But if mm-hmm. that happens, I think that opens up the door for Notre Dame to go over to the Big Ten, where they should be in the first place. Well, they should already be there. Yes, yeah, and if I you agree. put Big Ten, I, I if you put uh, Notre Dame over there, and then bring in uh, Oregon and Florida State, and maybe get maybe uh, North Carolina or Duke, because I I really believe it's headed towards that. We're going to end up having maybe four super conferences with probably twenty to twenty four teams in there. Because we're going to what twelve? Um, the playoffs now is going to twelve teams. Yes. Yeah, it's going so, to twelve teams. You know, and the other teams with the other conferences, you'll get the the whatever group or whatever. So you'll they'll still get someone in, but yeah. it'll open up the door for a lot of these other conferences. And then the money. I mean, Jeff and I can tell you, back in the day, if you had said Rutgers would be getting anywhere from seventy to a hundred million dollars from a conference. Never would have happened back in the day. We wouldn't have no believed way. it. No, no way, no, no. how. And now it's it's happening, especially with UCLA and USC coming to the ba- um, Big Ten. And then if you bring in the Seattle and the and the Portland markets, and then if you can get Notre Dame because that's the money right there. Even if is Notre told- Dame actually going to want to be involved with a conference because they're so stick, they you know, they're such technical. sticklers being independent. If a conference, if if the Big Ten, if the Big Ten was to do the same thing the ACC was doing, Notre Dame is going. Because remember, they 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 play an ACC schedule, but they still have their independent status, and they still play some of their main inter in um, rivals. And if USC is in the Big Ten, that's a natural rival right there. So to me, this coach is going nuts. 
Yeah, it was tipped. This 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 Ohio State coach is going nuts this entire game. Yeah, he he he's he's fighting so much. Not only this game, but he's fighting Urban the Urban Meyer legacy. Mm hmm. Yeah, Marvin Harrison's not even in. I guess he must have suffered a concussion. I, yeah, dude, he got yeah. wild. It's a, it's a big – it's like the, it's short. your main weapon out of the He's offense. Short. He's going to mark him short, a yard short. Yep. I knew yep. it. Let me see. He's a yard short. Oh, yeah. Stroud is running, and, yeah, he might be short. I don't know. They're going to mark short. him short, but he's not short. He wasn't short. Now, it they depends on where he was down when see, he where, the ball. It's where the, where the ball is, and he stepped out of bounds before he got to the – what you call it, see? So no, when he, he stepped say. out of bounds first. Let me see. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, he did. No, he's about a, a yard spot. and a half short. That was a good spot. Cause it, Actually, two it, yards it, short. That's yeah, it's about two yards out. short. Yeah. <coughs> now, do Rush they here. have instant replay on yes. college football? Co college football's instant replay is totally different than um, the NFL's, but yes. Uh, it's automatically, it's not, you don't, you, I mean, you can get it. Oh, they went for it. Yeah, you got it. Oh, sh I missed it. Yeah, they actually went for it on fourth and two and they got, oh, wait, did they call a timeout? Yeah, they called a timeout and they didn't count. Wow. Oh. They, they got did, the hey, first yeah. down and Kirby Smart called a timeout. Hey, that, that's, a, that's a championship caliber coach. Wow. Nice job by Ohio State, though. They didn't expect that one. Uh, I didn't. Better job right. by Kirby Smart. Yeah. See, yeah the, formation, cool. the formation told them because they were overloaded to one side. So. Now, what do you do if you're Ohio State? Are you going to punt you it? You have to punt it. You have you to gotta punt, punt it. You got to punt it out because they know. They know. Yeah, they already saw the trick. It. They're playing for it. So. I'll be right back, guys. That was a hell of a play, though. That was a hell of a play. Nobody was. was thinking that was going down. I didn't think they'd have the uh, the balls enough to go out there and call that type of play on fourth and two. Because, I mean, if you don't get it, that puts Georgia in really good field position to potentially get a touchdown and cut this game into to three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one, though. It was, it was a good, good one. It was, it was good on both sides. It was a good timeout, and it was a good play call. It was halftime. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like a move. Fuck off there, Jeff. <laughs> uh, Does anybody have a New Year's resolution they were going to do? You know, like those stupid resolutions everybody always has. Yeah. Things they want to do the next year. Yeah. I'm going to try not to be an asshole. I don't know about that one. Wait, you think you can do it? <laughs> you think you can do it? You no. think you can pull that up? No. No, no, no. It's like me not being loud. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, uh, Further? You got, a, you got a New Year's resolution? Oh, no, I don't. I just go with it. It's just another day. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think I, I. don't overthink that. Yeah, same thing. Just go, go with a, the flow. I'm gonna go on a diet. I'm gonna lose about. Uh huh. I'm gonna lose. That's my favorite. Pounds. That's I'm my gonna favorite. Lose 100 pounds and uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for a walk and do 20,000 miles. That's my New Year's resolution. I'm gonna do it. First day of 2023. Nope. I didn't <laughs> do it last year. I'll do it this year. Yeah, I'm going to do it this year. I promise I'm going to yeah. go out there and I'm going to make sure I lose at least 100 pounds. This is the year? This is the year? Yeah, this, this is, is the year, year I'm going to do it. Keep my body right. Yes. What are y'all doing? Resolutions? Yeah. Here's yeah we're, now we're making fun of it pretty much. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay, okay. You know, like every time somebody goes out there and says they're going to do a New Year's resolution, they're going to lose weight, that kind of stuff, and it never mm -hmm. happens. Their mm. ass is over at Burger King mm. or something at the next day. I'm my uh, new what I is Almighty gonna, doing? What is Almighty doing? It's Almighty doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Philly. Philly. I hit on my wife. I was yes. just to say that. <laughs> he always does. 
<laughs> he's like he's always talking to me about one of my daughters or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, he don't talk about Eagles. Oh, Mrs. Halftime in the building. Let me just go. Like, hey, how you doing, Mrs. Halftime? Exactly. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay there. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Look, see, I'm just cool. I'm just like, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you know. He's like, hey, he's harmless. It's not yeah. a problem. Yeah, what's he going to do? He's a Giants fan. <laughs> he's a 19-year-old little baby. Oh. He's 19 years old? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I got to be so, I got to be so, gen- I got to be a little bit more gentle on him. <laughs> no. No, you should see when him and Coach go oh, at no. it. It's this the is, funniest this thing. This new day and age, these kids cannot handle that stuff. Mm. I think he can. Almighty's not. He's... I have to go in on him. I have to smack him upside his damn head. Yeah. <laughs> right. Almighty and Coach go at it the entire time. It's pretty damn funny. Oh, wow. look at this play. Wow. Oh, wide open. Wow. What a busted coverage by Ohio State. Oh, baby. Wow. Man. That was no, he got not go into for, the no, end zone. Go for one, go for one, coach, because it's five. Oh, wait a minute. No, you go for two, coach. You have to go for two. You need to go for two. Oh, what does he yeah, you gotta go for two. You're down the five. Catch there. Man, how did they bust that cover so bad? Well, it's not over now. But were they not ready? It looked like it. Unless the safety or the cornerback bit on that route that he ran. It looked like they didn't have enough guys on the field. No. Here we go. Wow. We have a new ball game. Yes, it is. That was nice by Stenson Bennett. Nice throw, nice catch to McConkey. There we go. Now we got a football game, fellas. All right, you got what do you cover three single high? Yeah, it's covered. Oh no, we, is it? Is it? Coach, is that Phil McConkey's nephew or son? I have no idea. Oh wow, he slipped. Oh, that's why he didn't play it right. What he should have oh, done? Right. He, he should have played. He, yep, he, he tried to get with instead of just you know what, let him get wide and roll and roll to the sideline. His technique was completely off balance on that one. That's what happened. I was, I was wondering what the hell happened. He's just trying, trying to play on the inside. He's trying to play the, the inside. Because you had single high with the safeties. But that's a great concept right there because you have the, the, the flat with the out. Yeah, it's going to open up that window. Nice throw by Bennett, too. Hmm. Well, old state, bro, you do you have to go score now? Yeah, and not not a field goal. You need a touchdown. Yeah, they need a touchdown. Their offense just looks completely different now without Marvin Harrison out there. It is, it is. That's remember what I said earlier. That's why Marvin Harrison Jr. is that dude. Yeah, he's that dynamic. I'm telling you, next year, if you want to say he's going for the Heisman, okay, but. You see what he does. And on top of that, you I just forgot about that. Damn, that's right. You're playing you're playing in uh, in Atlanta, no wonder. That's a damn home game for Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia's defense has got to come out here and they got uh they gotta knock Stroud around. Well no, well, no, what you got to do is what they're doing right now. You got to be smart. You got to eat up the clock. Use, yeah. the, use the passing game as the run. Sneak in your run whenever you can. But eat a clock. That's the biggest thing. Just eat up the clock. I know he's uh, – Yeah, know but Ohio, State, Ohio State's got to eat up the clock. But Yeah, uh, that's what I mean. Georgia's got to get a rush and make it uncomfortable for Stroud. Right. Yeah, Harrison's on the bench. He's obviously out. That's that other kid's got to step up. That Ezu Buka, mm-hmm. I forgot his number name. Four. He's a, he's a, number four. He's a good receiver too, so he's got to step his game up. That was yeah. a good run. 
That was a nice minutes. bounce to the outside. Be honest yeah. with you, I ain't, I ain't even paid that no mind. I forgot it's, it's New Year's Eve too. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that. I, I at this point, when you get older, you don't even care about the New Year's. It's like, eh, it's just another you year. You cared when you were younger, but you don't give a damn no more. No. Anderson Cooper, Anderson Cooper, and his friend aren't drinking tonight. Well, that's a surprise. Yeah. Here you go. Like I said, sneak the run in there. Why didn't he just dump that off to him? Keep the ball in play. Man, I tell you what, halftime, your score prediction's pretty close. Ooh, hey, baby. I didn't know what my score prediction was. I was like 33 to 35, something like that. I don't know. Coach. What? (laughs) Yo. Because I'm flirting with the little, little, little <laughs> young thing. I said they're calling that play. I said, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's like Beavis and Butthead. Hey, That's why I say that. That's why I do that. That's what it's from. Come to Butthead. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Come there, you there you go. There you go. Your legs. Get legs! Oh, there he goes. There goes Stroud. He's going to get it. Yep, first down and more. And you had two guys jump the receiver going to the That's out route. That's a nice run. He's, he's going to uh, he's gonna make it, right? He's going to make the uh, MVP? If he keeps playing like this, yeah, if they win, I think he will. Because Marvin Harrison Jr. is not in there, so... That was a good play by the defense. I wouldn't know if he's out indefinitely or is he? No, he's out. If he hasn't he's been definitely in, out, yeah. he's definitely out. He's probably I mean, got a concussion. Uh-oh, he's in, Georgia's he's guy's protocol. down. He's in protocol because, I mean, yeah, he probably has a concussion or a mild concussion, but. Who's 13 on Georgia because he's down right now? I have no idea. That's like one of their defensive uh, linemen. I haven't, had, I haven't had Taco Bell in I don't know how long, years. Mm. Nah, I don't want Taco Bell. If you want to be sitting on the toilet all night, you can have Taco Bell. Bro, I can eat Taco Bell. I can eat White Castle. I can eat McDonald's. I can go eat me some hot, fried, spicy, greasy chicken and not be on the toilet bowl. Oh. One of the rare ones. Normally Look, when some of those people eat that stuff. It's yeah, be a this long big, night. fat, sexy stomach, man, it doesn't bubble yeah, like that. I'm a little no. disappointed you didn't put oh, up well, one of these I got one of those too, but my, but my bubbles. I can't say that. I'm, I'm anything anything with spice in it, though, really. Nah. I, like I said, I, I, grew spicy, up on, so. I grew up on spicy, so. it's. Uh, I used to eat jalapenos straight out of the can. Oh. I would just pop them and just start eating them like they're, like they're candies. Yeah. So, nice. Did you ever have a ghost pepper? Not as yet. I have. That shit's I on can, another level. I keep yeah, forgetting you pepper. told me about that that ghost pepper challenge. I can get it off of Amazon. Oh, the peanuts? No, the 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 chip, the whatever. The you one, chip, oh, the one challenge. chip challenge. Yeah. I've even had yeah. those ramen noodles, like the spicy ramen noodles. They're, they're pretty Dude, good. Those things, spicy as hell. Dude, I love those things. The yeah, uh, they taste great. Spicy. Spicy. That's like that's like putting a little pepper on 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 your food. That's it. It's not, if you call that spicy. No, I mean my spice tolerance is not where it was before because I don't eat a whole lot of spicy stuff like I oh, used I to. I do. I love no, it. I, it was it's it's a, it's decently spicy, but I I can handle it. No, I get I I get you. Everybody's level is different. Like some can't take it. Like you I know? said, I'm a girl on spice. Being a girl, you just have a little spicy tolerance. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's There's nothing wrong with that. No, I just say it like that because yeah, I get it. You're making fun everybody's, of everybody's everybody's way different, like you just said. But my uh, like <laughs> like your mm. your meat, your your just freaking mild is my ha. Basically, yeah, Basically. you know what I mean. Let me just put it like that. It's like whoa, okay, this is spicy. No, like you're you're you're, you're like you're like dude, this ain't hot. This is your, mild. your spicy is bland to me. 
Yes, yes, yes. Mm. So what do you, when you have wings, what do you, what kind of sauce do you use half time? I still use hot sauce. But so I, it's like, just like a mild hot sauce pretty much. Yes. Or like a barbecue sauce. Like, no, you use hot sauce, but you put like extra butter in it to. The tame it, yeah. Oh, it I dip. got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Nah. See, I'm 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 the old school, like the old cluck you chickens. You go to get the high hottest one. I remember right. the cluck yes. you, yeah, the nine one ones. Yeah. So <laughs> when you go to Wings to go, you order, yo, put my mouth on fire, Wings. Basically, basically. I mean, yeah, have that Hooters me. too. Man, do you remember um, Man versus Food when they used to have those contests? Yes, I do. I used, to, I used to want to do one of those. It's just like I can't find, I couldn't find the, nothing around here in North Jersey. So there was one on. I went to uh, one where it was a burger. It was a, it was a one pound burger. If you get it, you get to be Ooh. on the wall. Yeah. And you, you got to do in a, um, what was it? Like you had like uh, thirty minutes to do it in. I'm like, yo, can I get another one? They're like, damn. <laughs> exactly, a one pound burger. That's not yeah, that bad. Man. Right, it's a one pound burger. Did that. It's like, it's a like, lot. I, I ate two four uh, 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 quadruples of Wendy's before. I, I just ate, ate two two of those like it was nothing. I ate six Big Mac on a bed. I ate six. Oh, Big Mac. Yes, there you go. A freaking chocolate milkshake, and they're like, Ooh. I'm like, my my, my buddy betted me a hundred bucks. I'm like. I got this. What the hell? Are you, what's wrong Wait, with you? Exactly. What are you talking about? People don't. People underestimate your tolerance when it comes to like food. You don't get it. When you're hungry and you think it looks good. You're gonna put that thing down, and it's gonna be not a challenge at all. A hundred bucks. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. See the yeah, problem is thing. you throw a hundred bucks at me, and I'm gonna say, "Well, that's easy paycheck." Mm, right. Exactly. Like hundred bucks. Okay, I'll take it off your hand. Exactly, bro. I'm, mm, like I said, I'm. Ooh, I love to eat. I tell everybody I love to eat. I'm sorry. Look, until I got sick, I was over 400 pounds, and I loved it. I loved it, but my, I had to lose weight because I'm older. I get it, so I can't be 400 right now. I'm at 330. I know I need to lose more weight, but I just I love being big. I love my big jiggly gut. I love it. I love it. Come on, man. Have you, ever had the, have you ever had the Crave case from the White Castle? Oh, from like White Castle? Yeah, like the Crave I case. I think it was, what, 30? I think uh, I had the Jeff, Crave case. Yeah, Jeff, I used to eat, used to eat like freaking food. <laughs> Jeff, I worked at White Castle. <laughs> I worked at White Castle. I put a whole, a whole what's them call it, on the grill, and I sat there, and I told my boss, how much is this? And he told me, I said, I'm going to double it right now because I'm going to eat all of this, and I'm going to make some more, and I'm going to eat some more. And he looked at me, and what did I do? On my break, I sat there and I ate all of that, and I set up another one, and I ate another rack. Probably. What's the most uh, White Castle burgers you've ever eaten? In one sitting? In one sitting, yeah, for both, all you guys. I've never had White Castle. I've only Ooh. had Crystal Burger. Ooh. I got the, I got the right? briefcase. I got two of the briefcases. Let me see what happened. Right. Baby, please. She got ran over. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, she, she's a baller. She is a straight baller. Yeah, she took a weapon. Jeez, CJ Stroud just literally took her out. And she just got <laughs> It's like, I'm good. I was more worried about her head hitting that rail right there. That was the yellow thing. Yeah. I mean, she really, I mean, he really plowed into her. Mm. She wasn't ready for it. Yeah. How many white Thank God cases? she didn't hit that yellow. Like I think that was you know the, uh, thirty. The the brief it is has thirty little. There was little. Yeah, burgers. I think I yeah. think that whole thing is like sixty. I, uh, that's I mean, what it was. Sixty. I I the one say I ate sixty of them at one. Damn. With onions, but you know how they pack the onions. Yeah, in. exactly. See, the problem is they pack the onions. Not with the onions. Burgers, they pack a lot of onion in there, like a whole fucking onion. I'm like, damn. I love it. I love the onions and the White Castle burgers. They just yeah. they just give it that extra flavor on but, it. it puts it what it top. is is also in you. You also have the salt and pepper right there, and you just yes. sprinkle it on gently on there, yes. and it just exactly. adds to it. So with a little bit of ketchup. Oh. So yeah. yeah, yeah. 
is actually that, and I also used to add hot sauce and extra pickles. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good with the pickles. Oh, I'm a big pickles person. Mm, I'm not they're big trying to get the ball out here. They're yeah. trying to get the ball out of his hands quickly. That's what they did before. They sent that delayed mm-hmm. blitz earlier. And they they run they ran. I used to call it umbrella. And basically, when it's third and long like that, everybody plays the sticks. And I'm sending I'm sending six underneath. Wow. So it's five deep, six underneath, uh, six rushing, just like that. And you play the six, just like that. And they didn't burn off that much time. Nope. Nope. That's a good job there by the by Kirby Smart in that defense. So now now you got to hit this field goal. Worst case scenario, you keep it within a one score range. Instead of Georgia having to go down and tie it, they got to they got to win it with a touchdown. Still have to get a touchdown. You still have yeah. to get a touchdown with the extra point. And as long as you don't play like whatchamacallit did the, last night, where, what, 30 seconds left, they lose the damn game? Let, what you call it? Uh, what game was that, too, last night? I forgot what game that was. I'm going to remember that, too, when I go look at it. College football, college football. Last night, scores yesterday, college football. No, not 20, uh, 25 all games. Pittsburgh UCLA, that's who it was. Last night. You think with this performance that CJ Stroud is locking himself in to potentially be the number one pick? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with you. I mean, I know, I know. CJ, um, what's his name? Uh, Young did play. Um, Bryce Young, he, yeah. And what happens if he loses game. this? Does he still get the? You think he's still going to go n- number one? Yeah, I think they like his talent and his skill set. I think they're going to teams leadership are gonna watch skills. How, that. Yeah, it's just putting them in position. Now, when you sit down, you talk to him, you evaluate the tape, you go through the individual workouts. Mm-hmm. It's just positioning him, you know. I mean, young, you know. I can't say he didn't do his thing today, but uh, C.J. Stroud is a prototypical, you know, arm angle size. Uh, okay, he's not blazing fast, but neither is Patrick Mahomes. So he's not tall, though, right? Who? Stroud? No, he's small. Yeah, Stroud's small. Yeah, he's small. Yeah, Stroud is six. So is Bryce feet. Young. Both of them are both of them are small quarterbacks. No, Stroud is six three. Is he? I thought Stroud I think, was smaller. No, Stroud is like six three, about two twenty five. Oh, I thought he was a smaller. He's not that small. He can take a hit. Well, I know Bryce. Bryce Young is small. Yeah, he's oh, five eleven, nice. six feet. That was a nice hit. CJ. Let me see, CJ. Yeah, you're right. He is C six three. Yes. So I was wrong. I was wrong about that one. He is a bigger quarterback. Yeah, six three. Six three two eighteen. Two eighteen. Hey man, he got some meat on his bones. He ain't gonna. Well, you know what everybody's gonna be looking at in the draft. They're gonna be talking about Anthony Richardson because of his skill set if he comes out. Hey, Anthony Richardson. Two minutes guy. left in this game. Richardson is still a developmental quarterback. And George so. is going right down. I agree. Here. He is. He's still a developmental guy, but they're going to make him into, like, this year's Malik Willis. Why are you switching in a situation like that? That was dumb, Ohio State. They didn't. They did Oh, my gosh. I hate when coaches do shit like that. Y'all are stupid. Wow. You gave him a free play. Look at this flag. Yeah, it's a free play. Because your trade, you, they didn't, they didn't substitute. So don't substitute. The pass interference? No, no, it was offsides. Yeah, okay. they didn't call the pass interference on the outside. Uh, there, there was a pass interference on the outside too. I don't know. I thought that play was clean on the outside. Yeah, no, it was clean. But it looked clean to me. Yeah, that's a bad job by the coach. You can't do that. You can't switch him in the middle of that play when Georgia wasn't switching. 
That was, that's just a, that's a bad job by the coaches. Mm-hmm. You pretty much just gave them a, a free play, and luckily for them, they didn't hit it. Wow. I'm Going about to see what's going to happen. Man under. Two deep man under. Two deep man Damn. under. That was two deep man under. Oh, my God. Right over the middle to the tight end. Going right down the field. That's that wa that Washington kid, that tight end from Georgia that's been really good this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So right now you're hurting yourself now, uh, old state. Yep. Somehow you got to get the ball back. I think Georgia's going to try to kill this clock as much the as clock possible. clock is running. Yeah, exactly. But you can't kill it too, too – you can't go too no. slow. Yeah, you got to have some time left on the clock, but they're going to try to kill it as much as possible so Ohio State's not going to get the ball back. With you. They're going to get the ball back with either like no time left or they're going to have no time left, period. So, oh, there it goes. You got, you got to worry about them scoring. It ain't like it's a gimme that they're going to score. Oh, absolutely. There it Let's goes. See. There's and, a touchdown. Oh, you guys saw it already. Yep, touchdown. So now the only thing is you have two timeouts. How much time is left? Is it one? It's about 54 seconds. So really all you have to do is try and put yourself in field goal position. Yeah. Right. So now are you going to do what you uh, Pitt did to UCLA yes yesterday? Let's see. You gotta put the, you gotta put the ball in the hands of your best player on the team right now. That's Stroud. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna kick a field goal or go for two? No, you have to go for the extra point. No, they gotta go. For, they gotta go for what? They gotta go for the field extra point. If they go for two and miss it, then it's a tie game. It's tie. Yeah. So right now, what you want to do is work and uh, get the ball. The biggest mistake they made was they kicked the ball. They didn't kick the ball into the end zone. Yeah. Put the ball right. in the end zone. You were thinking to let them chew up some clock, but and here they went two deep man under, and when when that that safety to that side, he did the wrong thing. He read, he went to number one, the outside receiver, where you're supposed to ride the 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 hashes to the sideline. So if he plays number two to number one, it's there. And now safety hesitated too. He looked like he was going to be there for that? the coverage. He looked like so he was going to be there for the coverage, and he hesitated. Right they were doubling the, the tight ends. They were doubling the tight ends. Okay, I see what they were doing. They played underneath to double the tight ends, number nineteen. So that's why the safety, the corner, didn't have any extra help. Nice job by Bennett to throw it right to the outside, so the cornerback couldn't get it. Reception touchdown in all three. Hmm. Okay. If Stenson Bennett wasn't so small, he'd be a quarterback to like consider. You gave Ohio State too much time on the clock. They can come back now. Georgia's deep. You gotta trust Georgia's defense. They've been ranked one of the been best. They've been ranked the best defense. Game. Let them go out there and finish the job. No, yes, you trust them because they've been there before. The championship tested, but O State has two timeouts. The clock stops on the first downs, so there's plenty of time. You don't have to rush it all the way down the field. You know, no. you don't have to go all the way down the field. If you just play the first downs, that can allow you to get down the field. And all you really want to do is probably get to what? Probably the other thirty-five at, at worst. So you can probably kick the field goal. So well, what's this? What, it's the quicker. Um, the question um, is, what's this kicker's range? Like, how 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 good is his range in terms of his field goal kicking? Twenty, thirty. You want to get about forty yards, forty forty-five yards. I think they're going to try some runs with uh, Stroud. Okay, they changed the formation. There you go. Take your time out, coach. Just take your time out. No, no, no. Oh, okay, injured player. So that's a timeout from, from the defense. So you get, got free time. Get your play together. Let's get going. Let's get it set. 
Yep. There's the crib. <laughs> Here we go. But is he trying just to is kill he, the clock? What Georgia just did is what O State should have just done in their defensive series. They played deep coverage. Instead of playing a two deep man under, they played deep coverage to force them to nickel and dime it, and Georgia wouldn't have gotten down the field this fast. Yeah. Georgia's going to pretty much tell Ohio State the only way you're going to beat us is you're going to try these short passes. What this is showing to me, this is showing me is Ryan Day. Mm, He's not fully there yet. As far as championship level, this is what his first or second year as coach. No, it's his uh, fourth year. Oh, he's already been there for four years. Wow. Yeah, he he's, he's lost the last two. He lost the last two to to uh, Michigan, and he won the first two. Okay, it was the first two or first three. When did um what you call it leave? Uh, Fields. No, for the NFL. When did uh, Urban Myers? Urban Myers played one year. This is his second year. So, yeah, it's his um, fourth year because Ryan Day has been there two years prior to that. Do you guys think any college coach is going into the NFL? Harbaugh. The one most likely is going to be Harbaugh. Like, I have, like that's why I have, I have Harbaugh going to the Colts. But I didn't know if you guys had somebody else in mind. I think if if Car- Harbo makes the most logical sense off the bat, um, you know I know what Colt was talking about. Um, Sean Payton, mm. another player down. That's that guy again, Ezebuka. That was actually Fleming, the other wide receiver. Why is the why is the safety playing inside? Play the sideline. You play the sidelines. On that situation. Looks like he slipped a little bit. Yeah, he did. I think the one cornerback was trying to bust that mm-hmm. to the outside and he slipped. Mm-hmm. This is still plenty of time. They're already near midfield and it's 39 seconds to go. See, and, and that's the point I'm making. So now you want to try and get within another 25, to get that field goal. 25 yards, eat up the clock. They can still score a touchdown. Yes, no, you try for the touchdown. Don't get me wrong. If you get the touchdown, I'm already saying I'm going for two. Right. I'm already, I already have a set. I'm going for two. I have to go for two. Okay. That's what, you, that's what I was going to say. I'm like, you, you should go for two if you get that touchdown. And they so didn't right even have now, to spend any of their timeouts either because no. they got they had two injury play two injured That's players. My point. So. You had the first down, you got the first downs going out of bounds, you got first down on the completion of the pass, injury timeout, 39 seconds, two timeouts. Just be smart. It is, Vic. It absolutely is a good game. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Now you're in field goal range. Long chat, mom. Oh, we almost had him. Oh, my God. He almost had him. Now now you're taking your time. You're in field goal range. Yeah, Vic, this is a good game. (laughs) Why did you wait to take the time I'm enjoying this. Oh, my gosh. Why did you take that time? No, why did he? Oh. No, no you don't take that. See now that what I said about O State, they went two deep man under. They just did the same thing, two deep man under, and it opened up the the middle of the field. You yeah, play coverage. Oh you know, man, that guy from Georgia just missed getting Stroud by the feet mm-hmm. before he broke off of that run. Exactly, Stenson. Exactly. Like, oh my gosh, what? Now the question is, do you do you run with the ball, trying to position the ball into the middle of the field, or are you now going for the touchdown? Do you want to chance it, or do you want to play for the field goal? Play for, I, I play for the field goal right now. I know you want the touchdown, but get, no, get, that, get that field goal kicker ready. It's, I'm doing check for me, seeing what type of coverage they're in first. Like, because I'm running two plays. I'm calling two plays. One may be a run, and one may be a, a, a pass. So they're playing coverage. Go to run. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
We'll call time. Yeah, you shouldn't have given Ohio State that much time on the clock. Mm-hmm. So they took a time. So if you're going to take the time out, why the fuck did you call that play? That's the stupidest. Oh, my gosh. I hate stupid coaching. I'm sorry. To, uh, Ed, stop. 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 That, that made no out. sense. No, no you're right. If, if, if you're going to do that, if you're going to run, you're playing for the the field goal. So let the clock run and kick the right. field goal and get over with. Yeah, now I don't know why, why. Why are you not calling the timeout when you're right? Unless he doesn't think his kicker can make it. I guess I think his kicker has the range to be able to make the field goal. The only thing I can think of is you want to put the ball in the middle of the field. That's the only thing. Right now, that's what you want to. Right now, that's what you want to do. You had to put the ball in the middle of the field. To, that's the only thing I can think of. To give it well, they're out of timeouts now, aren't they? No, each has one timeout left. Okay, I didn't know if Ohio State burned both their no. timeouts. Yeah, I'm looking at the right next to the 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 the, the score. Each red line is a timeout. Now we just go to the middle, run Stroud to the middle of the field, and get your kicker ready to kick the field goal. Or do you launch it? <laughs> what the hell, Ryan Day? What the hell? Oh, my gosh. Who is that? Dude, the, 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 look, if you're going to be aggressive, put the ball down in the end zone. Fuck all that shit. Yeah. Why would you do? Why would you do that? Why are you throwing the ball over the middle of the field? You just, yeah. Uh, I, I this is what I mean one. about stupid coaching. That's that. that's arrogance. That's like, oh, I could. We can do anything on you. That's being a cocky shit right now, thinking that you're already winning the game. So I'm just gonna do something like this. Take a chance. It should have been down. four verts. Go to the end zone. Put the ball up back corner. Worst case scenario, there you go. Otherwise, See, that um, lucky right there. They're lucky that Stroud didn't get tackled in the backfield. They would have been all the way out of field goal range. Yeah, exactly. but your kicker can still miss this. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a hard kick. It's going to be a long kick for them. It's going to be, what, like 40-plus yards? They're at the – it's a 50-yard field goal. And college kickers are no guarantees to hit these field no, goals. Not this Look, one. And it's not straight either. No, That's my point. The yeah. first one is the run that he did, the first one. He went to the left. Now, if your kicker's telling you, I want the ball on the on the left hash, okay, mm -hmm. then fine. I get it. That's fine. That's fine. But right. then why are you taking the time out and doing all that other stuff? No, don't do all that. If anything, keep the ball into the middle of the field or down the sideline. Exactly. You guys, are, you, you guys already know what happened, so I'm a little behind you, so... <clears throat> Oh, sorry. Ooh, no, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yes. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> right, and by the way, guys, Happy New Year. It's officially 2023. Oh, Happy New Year. Happy so. New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. There we go. There it goes. Let's see what happened. Yeah, playing too fucking cute. Playing too cute. Oh my god, he didn't miss it. He died. Oh, oh, oh. That god, is a juggler. Damn. See, why is it? Why is it? People, coaches do not want to fucking keep the pressure oh on their somebody's neck and keep scoring. Oh my god. I I'm knew sorry. that was gonna happen. Ryan Day, this loss is on you. This loss is on you. My right, guys. God. Wow. He didn't miss it. He shanked it completely oh, wide. Wait, wait. Was, was that blocked or tipped no. at all in any way? No. no I just, think he just missed it. Listen, he just shanked that, it. He just shanked that it. That was on the snap. Completely the left. That was on the snapper. Have you seen what that went, how that ball was angled? That was on the snapper. He snapped that ball totally wrong. Right. There's something was off. Something was not that right. That was totally on the snapper. See, when a ball when you kick a ball and it goes shanks like that, that's on the snapper. That's all on the snapper. Oh, it's what not a on the comeback. <laughs> it's not even on the holder. It's on the snapper. 
this is a brutal loss for Ohio State. This is you had to blame the coach. You had to blame the incredibly brutal loss. Oh man, just I could see the people's faces of Ohio State with their mouths open right now, like. Well, you know what they're, they're going to say gonna now? They're probably going to say, year. oh, Marvin Harrison wasn't there, so that impacted their offense. They're but probably going to say. Not, that's not it, though. It's the coach should have went for the juggler. Oh, yeah. I agree. The coach, the, coach, the coach blew it. Look, the, the main thing is, okay, the first play. Like I said, he put the ball on the left hash. Put that ball on the right. We're in the right. middle of the field. The next play, if you're going to go for a pass – If you're going to go for the pass, then what you do is you send verticals down into the end zone and try to put it into the back corner, one of the the back corners. Let your receiver be the only one to get the ball or put it out of bounds. You're playing around. You're trying to be cute, all this other stuff. And no, Ryan Day has proved to me that he's not a championship caliber coach. You could win during the regular season. You could be all this and that. But when the money, when you got to push all the chips to the middle of the table, Nah, bro. You don't know how to do what you no, need to do. That was a bad one. That was this a bad kick. This, this is a brutal loss. This is a br- brutal loss. Did you loss. see the, did you see the, when, did you see the uh, ball the snap? was wobbling? Yeah. Wait, it was snapped. Snap, 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 it really is on the snapper. It, 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 but the ball got there, and the, and the holder got the ball, put it down, twisted, and, and positioned it right. He really but did. Still, but if the, the snapper don't have – it spinning right. It's all gonna be messed up. No, I'm not. It's the timing. But let me see something. Oh, you're not gonna let me rewind. I hate Man. you. Man. <laughs> I mean, he just. It wasn't even close. No. Nope. Right when the like when, you, when the ball was snapped, it was wide. But yeah, but your the coach should have went for the juggler and put the ball. In play. No, I agree with you. The coach, the coach lost this game. You had, mm-hmm. you had to get closer to you. Had, just get closer to the goalpost, just in case. That's a that that this is a brutal loss. If you're an Ohio State fan, mm-hmm. or not style, anything involving Ohio State, you got to be sick to your stomach. It's a bad it's a, day. Happy New Year, it's a everyone. Brutal loss. This is a bad. bad... Day for the Big Ten. This is a bad day for the Big Ten, man. What up, yeah. Jinx Wolf? Because your two top teams, mm, Jinx, they choked. Happy New Year. They, they did. Choked. Yeah, we made it. They did. I mean, credit to uh, Georgia for coming back, and obviously credit to um, TCU for being a much better team How than we thought. But not the same targeting. Time, man. I'm looking at the play again. That is targeting. Yeah, that one's a surprise. That I thought that was targeting too. I mean, he led with his shoulder, but he was still going for his head. Anytime you, anytime you have forcible hit to the head, oh, he hit him in the shoulder pad. I see it now. Shoulder to shoulder, those hit first. But how many times do you still see that being called a, a, a targeting? You always shoulder see to it. Shoulder. It's the shoulder. If it's shoulder to shoulder, they don't. It it it's not called. Yeah, he hit him with the shoulder pad. So I'm looking at it now. Well, that was the difference in the game when Marvin yeah, Harrison Marvin Jr. Harrison went out in the game. Jr. That that to change the entire complex complexion of this game. Exactly. Because Georgia was not. Georgia couldn't stop him. Georgia could not stop him the entire game. The second he went out. That's when Georgia's defense started to make some plays and their offense started to pick it up. And also that busted play where they got that football down the field and were able to get that touchdown and cut it to three. Mm-hmm. That was another one. Mm-hmm. And the other play after that. The coach should have got the ball closer. Instead mm-hmm. of having a 50, have it at a four have a 40 yarder or a 35 yarder. You could have you could have made it, you could have might have went and scored a touchdown. If you didn't play kid games, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, the coach, the coach played, the coach played the classic thing that you don't do. He played not to lose. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what, what he did. He played not to lose instead of playing to win. Have, you don't have them. To any given Sunday, like I said, you can right. You can shank them kicks. 
That's why you mm-hmm. always got to go for the juggler and take them out of the game. Exactly. Go for the win. Mm-hmm. Don't go. Mm-hmm. I mean, what about movies? Go for the win. Don't go exactly. just to be even. Well, that one play on third down was – on a, or second down. Why are you throwing the – if you're going to throw the football – Throw it down the field and get, and maybe you get a pass interference. Right. Maybe you commit, somebody commits a pass interference. Why are you throwing a slant? You stop mm-hmm. the clock and then you just can't, you don't move it. You don't advance the football. That was a stupid play right there by uh, the, the the Ohio State team. Mm-hmm. I mean, Ryan Day coached not to win. Mm-hmm. He coached not to lose. Hey, yeah, doing normal guy. It. it you can't do that. I mean, I don't know too much about college football, but it's all football is football. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know? it's, stand, it's standard, bro. They, they, he didn't play. You can't play not to lose. You got to go for the juggler. You got to take them out of the game. Go for the win. Mm. Some coaches, I don't know why they, they do that. They always get too conservative at the wrong time. You, ha- you make- have a team reeling. Go try to put it – get at least get the ball a little bit closer to the uh, the end zone. Why don't you try a little bit more of those design runs? They were, they were Georgia wasn't able to stop them. Stroud's legs was able to, uh, you know, make a difference towards the end. And they, they just – the slam play over the middle of the field on second down made no sense. That was a dumb play. And don't – I don't know. They, sometimes these coaches – like they I always smart say, themselves. they always try to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Play the game that got you to where you're at. Play because the they game think they're smarter. The game. Don't they, they think don't... they're smarter than everybody? You gotta mm-hmm. keep. You gotta keep on playing the game that you got you there, and you gotta play the game that when you're there and you're winning, like they were, you had to keep that mentality up through the whole game. I don't care if you win by a hundred points and they got three. Don't sit there and say, well, I wanted to make sure it was an okay game. Mm-hmm. Let me see this. Okay. And you just showed it to your kickers wasn't able to kick a field goal from that distance. He mm-hmm. the, the, coach, the coach lost this game. And if you're, mm-hmm. I mean, and for the Big Ten, this, is a, this was a really brutal day. I mean, your two top teams that have been two of the most dominant teams in college football this year just both shit the bed. In this, in this semifinal, both of them did. CJ Stroud, CJ Stroud, twenty-three of thirty-four, three hundred and forty-eight yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Stenson Bennett, twenty-three of thirty-five, three hundred and ninety-eight yards, three touchdowns, and one one interception. Those quarterbacks were almost. Was, I thought mm-hmm, Bennett was up and down. I thought Bennett was up and yeah. down. He missed some. Yeah. He missed some bad throws too. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Coach. No, that's uh, you know you you said it best, bro. You said it best. So. Uh. Now that, that coach, I mean Ryan Day, this is gonna haunt him for the entire off season until next until the next college football season. This is this is one of those losses that is going to make you sick as a head coach for months. He's gonna be thinking about this game. All through the spring, all the rest through the winter, all through the spring, all through the summer until we get to the next season. This this is a brutal loss for for this. And they were up by what fourteen with about five six minutes to go. Mm-hmm. And they blew it. They literally just crumbled at the worst time. It's coaching. If your team crumbles like that, that's coaching. Oh Sorry. yeah, it's absolutely coaching. And Kirby right. Smart. Coached like a guy that knows how to coach in the big moment. And mm-hmm. Ryan Day coached like he has no idea what the hell to do in the big moment. He he, he coached scared. He coached mm. scared in he this game. He coached not to lose. He didn't exactly. Coach. He coached he scared. He coached – he didn't coach that I'm going to be the big dog and we're going to just pound you to death. He didn't do that. Mm-hmm. No, he decides to throw the football on a slant play on second down. When your when your quarterback who was running the football was it was a it was working. 
He just picked up that huge game, multiple back-to-back -back huge games with his legs. Why aren't you continuing to let him, try to run him on the outside? Have him break some tackles. Georgia had no answer for it. I just, I just, I just can't fathom some of the some of the calls down the stretch with them. I mean, yeah, you lost your best player, but you still were productive for the most part. And to play like this, man, it's just. I mean, you can blame you can blame the uh, you can blame the defense, the coordinator too, the way he was calling some plays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they came back. Georgia came back because you, hey, you got beat on a lot of plays that you were questionable. Why'd you call this play? Mm -hmm. Well, especially that one play over on the outside where he got beat for that deep play, even though the cornerback uh, slipped on that one. Mm -hmm. I think TCU has a chance. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I think TCU is not going to just walk into the national championship mm -hmm. game and get blown out. I think it's going to be a lot closer. Mm -hmm. That that team's got a that that team's offense can put up points too. And yeah, Georgia, I think we're going to see a really good national championship game. Very entertaining, very scoring, defensively impacting, and it's going to be fun to watch. It could be an upset. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for I'm rooting for TCU. I want TCU to win the game. No disrespect to Georgia, but they they've won enough. I want to see the underdog get a shot at winning a championship. Hmm. Still gonna be a good game though, but it's just I know for the Big Ten, mm, this it is just, bad. Mm, let's see how many retreats can get put in there. All right, guys, yeah. thanks for having me on. I'll catch you guys yeah, later. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm pop off in a little bit too. I want to get you. ready for the game today, but happy new year, halftime. Happy new year, guys. Happy new guys year. Safe. And, Thank uh, you. I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. No problem. All right, man. brother. Catch you be later, safe, man. Time. Late. All right, fellas. All right. Um, further, do you want to close it out? Is he still there? Further. No, he's probably off doing all something right. else. I guess I'll close it out. Um, Thank you all for coming by the. The uh, semifinal national uh, college football game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Georgia wins this game by one point on a missed field goal. Uh, we don't know what the hell Ohio State was doing, but uh, thank you guys all for coming. Make sure if you haven't already, sub up to Further AM, Coach Ed Gladney, Mitch Kofsky, Philly Halftime, Next Shift, Randy. And uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Be safe. Be smart if you're out there on the road. Uh, just everybody be careful. Happy New Year to everyone. Take it easy and um, enjoy the rest of your night. And we'll see you for another first football Friday, first football Sunday of 2023. Have a good rest of your night, everybody.